Hello, welcome to Masks Web of Intrigue. Today is session seven. Yes, uh, I'm only I'm the GM. I r run the NPCs and some parts of the world. That's me. And here are the players. Introduce yourselves, I guess, according to the um, I don't know any any one of the rules. I guess or roll twenty will do. I'm Alis. I'm playing Didi, a very small bull. I'm Janine. I play as Mina, the other form. I'm Phantom Mouth. I play Chimera, the animal shifter. I'm Zing. I and my name is. Jo um, I'm Joshua playing Zinc as the cop, Robocop type guy. Alright, cool. Um, so yeah, uh, let's actually um, look at the... Uh... Oh my gosh, did I forget to start that? Okay, I did. My bad. Alright. So yes, so when we last left our heroes, uh, Chimera had just escaped from his uh, cell in... The oh my gosh! <sighs> okay, <laughs> Kimura can't entirely turn into bull. He's not like Beast Boy, but yes, he can have horns and and a bull nose. Not the ring, sadly, like the nose ring, because that is not part of bull anatomy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, and uh, the other four member. Uh, well, and we also have Evelyn, who is uh, playing as Nevo, the Janus, but sadly. Um, she, the player is unavailable today, and I have a plan for the character and story. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Alright, so, and the other four uh, members of the team are at a uh, warehouse rooftop near the east corner of the warehouse district. Um, it's the time is about uh, 15 minutes to 5 and uh, Mina has found out well uh, Red Fox has found out that uh, Gecko will be meeting some retrieval people uh, basically you know hired thugs to uh, help him uh, escort uh, Chimera to a different facility because he has been told by one of his moles inside the Arana gang that, um, you know, uh, the team is hitting up Arana Gang locations trying to find Chimera. Alright, so, and unbeknownst to both the Arana Gang and Gecko, the team is actually aware of this meeting place and are already at stakeout at that position. So, cool. Alright, um, oh, I need to add a team to the pool because it's the start of session and I don't have to remind anyone about the Janus who can do extra stuff every session because the Janus is absent, damn it. <sighs> okay, so what basically happens in story is that as you're all waiting, it's like about 10 minutes to 5, which is when a Nevoa gets a phone call. Well, it's like, you know, her phone is... You know, her phone is on vibrate because she's a responsible, because with great power comes great responsibility regarding phone uh, ringtone. So you turn it off when you're as a superhero to not let anyone know that, you know, you have the similar ringtone. Except when you're in school, when you don't need to turn it off, turn it silent and inform your teammate that, hey, I'm secretly me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So yes, uh, she does bring out her phone and uh, talks into it for a little while and then she tells you, hey guys, I'm really sorry to do this but something really serious just came up so I'm afraid I'll have to take, uh, I'll have to um, take off. And before anyone can really respond, she uses her smoky movement ability to zip zap zoop away from rooftop to rooftop to rooftop. Very Spawn like okay, the, the, roll twenty just crashed. I think did roll twenty just crash? Roll twenty just crashed. It's, wow, it's working for us. Yeah, it just yeah. like like the yeah. screen went completely blank for me. I think it crashed. All right, I'll I'll relaunch it. Anyway, now just explaining. So yeah, um, so yeah, she just takes off. Yay, um, you know it would have been cool if it just poof like a name. 
ninja. Yeah, I suppose, but she doesn't poop like a ninja. <laughs> she she doesn't. Hey, you know, she should have just said, I have to go to the bathroom. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. So true. All right. So, yeah, that's that. Um, okay. Uh, not anything else to do? No, nothing else to do. All right. I remembered everything, mostly. All right. No, I know I for, what I forgot. I forgot to open up the rule book because I, I need the rule books and I've forgotten to do that. Okay. And that and the plans. I, I have so many plans for this session. I actually have so many plans for Nevoa, but uh, he just, she just got a phone call. So that, that happened. <laughs> no, no big deal. Like, no big deal. Com completely throw away all of my plans. Why don't you? Sure. Okay. Remember this thing. Note to self. Okay, that's unnecessary for the moment. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, it's five, and you see a um, uh, a uh, van roll up, and you know um, roll up to the corner, and it just parks into like next to the sidewalk, and just it just you know gets ready, just waiting, chilling out, like no big deal, no big deal. Um, yeah, um, uh, that's it. Uh, are you all waiting for the other party to show up? Or, like, do you want to do something? I'm I... probably eating tacos at the rooftop. <sighs> of course you are. <laughs> Why? And, <laughs> and uh, let's go, uh, trying to tap on looking on the mind. For the mind of Chimera to pop out within the area. Um. Wait. What? I'm consciously trying to look for Chimera's uh, wave, mind wave. Ah. Okay. Okay. So. Um. Okay. Um. So far, you don't even have to roll for that because right now there's nothing. So you know, when there's a chance, we'll have you roll for that. But right now, there's nothing. So yeah, you're fine. Okay. What about uh, Zinc and Didi? What are you doing? I say we wait, wait till we see Camara because I mean, otherwise it, we might spook them and then they'll they'll run away and we won't be able to find Camara. Zinc, how do you feel with this plan of action? That's fine with me. All right, cool. So about say uh, you know five minutes passes, so it's uh five oh five and a uh. Slightly on the fancier side, car rolls up. Um, Didi, I need to ask you one thing. Um, uh, Didi has seen uh, Gecko, right? It's part of your backstory. Yes, I've seen Gecko. Okay. I just haven't. I haven't seen that he is, in fact, my uncle. Okay. Um. So, like, uh, does he wear like a face mask, or uh, why did you not recognize him as your uncle when, like, you saw him? Or can yeah, he but why don't we say a? Uh, I don't know. Can he alter his face? I, I don't know. I just like you know. It's up to you. You can change that however you want. Yeah. Why not? Uh, why not? He gets scaly, and uh, yeah, he gets scaly. So that would make it harder to figure out. He gets scaly and he loses his goatee, which makes him completely unrecognizable. This is true. Like you know, obviously, if you lose your goatee, nobody can ever recognize you. Just anyone here. This, Grow a goatee, go into public, literally nobody will know you're you. Literally nobody. Nobody will say, hey, did you grow a goatee? Nobody will say that. Absolutely not. You can trust me on this. <laughs> okay. So, okay, yes. Um, so, uh, Chimera, you have seen um, the uh, photo of I showed you of... Um, uh, um, uh, damn it, uh, of Gecko. Uh, you have seen, basically... Like, you know, um, Esteban Roberts, but minus the goatee and plus very scaly face. What, where is his picture? I can't actually find him right now. Oh, he's at the top. Never mind. Right. Yes. Esteban Roberts, a.k.a. the gecko. So he, he loses the goatee and his face is very scaly. Um, do, do the scales have any color or it's like human skin color or something? Uh, no, probably gecko color. 
which, well, I guess Green. it depends on the gecko. Mm. Yeah. Green's a versing that comes to mind now. Okay, I know. Like, whenever it's scaly, I'm just constantly thinking of the lizard from Spider-Man, and I'm like, it's gotta be green, right? Is, is, is that him? <laughs> okay. So, okay, so... I, can he shift his colors? I don't think geckos can. No, they, they can't. I'm just asking if, like, this person can. Oh, sure, why not? All right. That'll just make it a little more fun. <laughs> All right, sure. Because, like, it's your backstory. You get to give, like, specify his powers. That's totally fine. All right. So, okay. So, yeah, you saw him, like, he generally shows the green color. And, yeah, you, you can see him, like, sometimes shift that, you know, it's not really that obvious unless he does it in your face. But he normally just keeps it green for, you know, general perception. All right. So, yeah. Uh, outside, like, off the car, you know, um, Gecko's face appears. And he's like, uh, and they start uh, talking to, like, you know, the Gecko's car drives up next to it. It's not parked, the engine's still running. And, uh, yeah, and he starts conversing with um, the other, the parked car with the dudes inside. You can't see the dudes inside, but you can see uh, Gecko, like, move his head out of the car and talk. What do you do? Honestly, right now, Didi is fighting, running in to automatically attack. But she knows she has to wait for Chimera just because <laughs> she would want to go after Gekko. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Mina, are you doing anything with your powers because i know like you know uh, dd and zinc has to physically be present but you're not you get special treatment yeah uh, <laughs> um eve's dropping inside the car whatever they talk they talking about. okay now that's interesting please roll me a uh, um unleash roll i will load up all the things so basic moves boop uh conditions double poop and i don't know what else oh the, the, the okay thing. just just first roll of the game don't <laughs> it's a free roll don't. and you don't have guilty so it's like a plus two you're fine oh my god you're more than fine you you are so fine <laughs> your 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 roll was so fine it blew everyone's mind <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, casting the whole, whole, uh, the whole thing inside of uh, um, Didi's mind and wait, can I go? Can I use my powers to Robocop? Ah, uh, Robocop still has like partially human brain tissue, so yes, I would say yes. You can. Then I'll probably uh, basically like attach into them all yeah cool so okay so okay so you're basically like uh hack uh, well hack are you basically like mentally read into their communication since there's like multiple people you can only get like the surface thoughts of their communication basically you're overhearing them as if you had a radio inside the car which you don't but you know it's it's you know mind psychic magic powers okay <sighs> It's not magic, it's science. It's psychic science. Anyway, uh, all right. So, um, yeah, so the communication is um, uh, Mina, sorry, Janine. Since you're the one who eavesdropped on the guy, the mole in Arana Gang, who actually informed uh, Gecko that, you know, to move Chimera, you get to figure out his name. Uh... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? Why am I so evil? <sighs> I I just oh, written him as uh, the dude, letter, but I I'll just uh, change his name uh, when you add. Which letter we haven't used yet? Which? Pedro. 
letter P, Pedro. Uh, Pe uh, Pedro is um Robocop's real name. Well, Zinc's real name. Well, oh. former real name. But yes. <laughs> uh. Um. You. You. Yeah. Yes. I, I, uh, the Brazilian name generator is linked in the Discord. Like. Like. It's. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot. It's. It's See. right there. Like linear mango uh, pinned it, even though sadly they're not here anymore. <sighs> Sadness. I'm looking for it. Where is it? A microsecond of silence for fallen uh, comrades. Wait, no, missing players. Yes. Microsecond done. My I... Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's just uh, right below the uh, top one, like in the campaign, campaign, campaign chat. Underneath uh, the ongoing summary, the fact. Sebast hmm, go on, sorry. Sebastian Rodriguez. Huh? Sebastian Rodriguez. Cool. Alright. So, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, Gecko says, alright, uh, you're Rodriguez's man, right? He, he give you the lowdown of what's going to go down. And you hear, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to move this um this furry muppin guari. Is this the same the same one that was caught like on Wednesday? And uh, Gecko's like, yeah, yeah, I have a deal with the Arana gang for that. So yeah, All right, okay, sure thing. Uh, lead the way, man. And Gecko's Gecko gets back into the car and starts driving driving. And the uh, van follows. We follow. Over the rooftops? Y yes, that's faster. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm, hmm. Like, I'm thinking, do you need a role for this? Nah, nah, it doesn't, it just, it doesn't seem important. Alright, yeah, yeah, you can totally follow along the rooftops. Uh, there's many alleyways and stuff, but it's like, it's a very compact urban environment, so it's actually easier and faster by parkouring rooftop to rooftop. And all of you have special abilities that allow you to do that. For example, um, Zinc has his jumpy boots, because we've established Zinc has jumpy boots last session. <laughs> um uh, and both of you know parkour so yeah well one of you though gymnastics also so makes it even better but yeah so honestly probably mina is falling behind because she only knows parkour <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right and uh yeah so yeah you uh managed to follow and uh, we arrive at this um very nondescript um warehouse outside and we're gonna like as you arrive we're gonna cut uh, away and the sun is slowly setting we're gonna cut away to chimera on the inside chimera you are at the bottom of a staircase in a storage area of sorts they're like piping pvc tubings etc it's like plumbing equipment etc on the ground everywhere like you know boards um rebars um a little bit of bricks, some like uh, sacks, uh, uh, sacks of cement and stuff. And um, behind you is the door you came down, which leads into like a underground uh, plumbing janitor access service tunnel of sort thing. And in front of you is a staircase going up, except you're hearing people coming down the staircase, and you can also hear with your slightly superior, uh, with your superior hearing. That they are loading magazines into guns. What do you do? They haven't turned the corner of the stair yet. What do you do? I'm shifting into a spider, climbing up to the ceiling and waiting. Okay, absolutely. Uh, shift form into spider, climb up to the ceiling. You know what? You just do it. Yeah. Like, no, no roll necessary right now. Yeah. Oh, ow! Damn it! Damn it! I hit my leg again. <sighs> <laughs> That's supposed to do that. It hurts. <sighs> All right. Okay. So, yeah, you get up on the ceiling. Uh, uh, about um, four guys come in. They're all carrying. Well, two of them are carrying um, 
um, AK-47s because it's AK-47. It's like the most common gun in existence. And uh, two of them are carrying, uh, you know, those uh, submachine gun thingies that whose name I don't know because I'm not a gun person. I know AK-47 because literally nobody in the world haven't heard of AK-47 over the age of eight. <laughs> okay, that's a joke, but still, it may not be. I'm scared that it may not be. Anyway, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, they actually, uh, the alarms are blaring and they, like all of them, okay, I want you to, like, are you, like, they haven't looked up yet. Are you going to let them pass or are you going to come down and attack them? Let them pass. Okay, cool. I want you to unleash your powers to see if you can successfully, like, hang on to the ceiling while they're passing. It's like, it's like, you probably can, but I want, like, there's a chance of drama here. So cool. Wow, you have a three on that freak. You're gonna succeed like a badass. Or, you know. Until you jinx him, anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, sure. You have a three in 36 chance of failing or something. Okay, never mind. Never mind. See, see, what did I say? What did I say? He's gonna succeed like a badass. Like he, he succeeded <laughs> like, like a... Oh my god, the jumpy boots. <laughs> the jumpy boots. Alright. So, okay. Um, You stay completely silent like a spider and they just pass underneath you into the service access tunnel back towards the laboratory that you were in. The coast is clear for you. You don't hear anyone else coming down the staircase. They're all going in to find them but you know that there are two people inside the place where you escaped from who will tell them that they came this way so they'll be running back so you don't have much time what do you do drop down shift the cheetah and run up the stairs yeah absolutely and since it is now your new powers you basically just you just take one step and jump up like the entire flight of stairs because Come on, it's your superpower now. <laughs> <laughs> so just one step, next floor, one the next half floor, the other step, uh, the, the, on the first on the ground floor. You're on the ground floor. Done in two steps, literally. Okay, um, you come out onto the ground floor and like it's a, you know, it's a there's a door. You know, it's like a it says on the other side. You can see from inside. It says, um. Uh, janitor access in Portuguese. I don't, I'm not gonna butcher the language, so it just says that. And you know, you have a subtitle at the bottom saying janitor access, except the, uh, as I said, the subtitle editor is very cheeky and the, uh, the word is also in mirror form because you're seeing it from the inside, you're seeing the mirror form of it. The subtitle is also given in mirror, so janitor access. <laughs> This guy is so cheeky. I, I love this guy. It's this fictional meta guy that doesn't exist. All right. So, okay. And um, you open the door and you come onto the floor of this very nondescript uh, warehouse. This warehouse looks like it stores, um, uh, it looks like it stores like um, cleaning equipment, like detergents and stuff. It's like, it's a storage warehouse. It's not like a, factory floor or anything, just like stacks and stacks of cleaning equipment, detergent, soaps, you know, the likes, you know, etc. And, uh, yeah, there is like, the alarm is a lot quieter up here, there is like a, like a very, like, it's not blaring, like underneath it was blaring, uh, but up here it's more like, uh, you know, like, uh, fuse alert or something like that, like very, very low, it's not like a fire alarm loud or anything. Okay. This door open in or out? Uh, the door opens out, and you're on the like you're on the uh, you're on the ground floor of the um, uh, warehouse, and there. Is there anything I can jam it with? Uh, yes. There's like um, you know, there's some um, crates next to you, like soap, like crates full of soap and stuff. Okay, I shift into oh. bear, so I have some extra oh, strength. Oh, sorry, sorry. Push. Um, do you mean like the is the door is openable one way or both ways, right? Right. Okay, uh, yeah, no, sorry, the uh, door can be opened in both ways, so it's both a push and a pull. So it's like, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, okay, uh, we, uh, at this point, you see, like, there's, like, some 
people on the ground like who were also like coming over uh, with uh, guns and now they see you and uh, there's like he's there he's escaped quick and you know more people are starting to come towards you what do you do with guns since I'm a mm -hmm. cheater, I'm going to try to rush down and take their gun from him. Okay, nice. Uh, there's actually like, uh, say, um, I don't know, say like uh, five people coming towards you. Like, um, th uh, these people actually don't have uh, assault rifles, uh, AKs. Uh, two of them have the uh, um, the uh, SMGs, but uh, the other three just have, you know, regular handguns. I'm going to try for one SMGs. All right, cool, cool, absolutely. Um. Uh, directly engage a threat. Let's see what happens. Don't worry, we're gonna have the others coming in very soon. It's gonna get messy. Very messy. So messy. Alright, very good. Uh, choose your two options from the danger roll. Oh, and uh, keep in mind, like, you have uh, four, like, playbook moves, so at any time you want to utilize them, you can do so. Resist their wider blows mm -hmm. and, take something, from them, and right. take something from them. All right, cool, absolutely. Uh, you uh, rush into one of them, and, like, the nearest guy who had an SMG, you take it out of their hands. Do you, like, what do you do? Do you throw it away, or do you hold it in your hands? I hold it in my hands and with the other guy that has an SMG. Okay, uh, and you, uh, yeah, I mean, before you, um, b before, like, you know, he could even get a shot off, you grab it out of his hand and turn it back on the other guy who has another SMG, right? Yep. Okay, uh, what do you do? They all stop, Tell they, they all uh, point your guns at you, uh, what do you do? Yeah. Tell them to drop it or eat sled. Okay, uh, are you... Um, utilizing your, um, so it, it will be a, uh, provoke role, but are you utilizing the, um, uh, be the monster move, or it's just like, you know, like using the gun? Be a monster. Okay, uh, so, hmm. Uh, okay, how are you utilizing your, like, you still have the gun. The gun is just like a, uh, like, a extra thing. But how are you using your monstrous form to scare them? Or intimidate I'm also turn. I'm also turning into a giant turtle, kind of like what you saw in TMNT2 and back in the 80s. With all the spikes and everything. <laughs> Gosh, that is more adorable than scary, but oh man, it is so scary. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Um, roll a freak to provoke, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the be the monster. All right. So yeah, roll a freak. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's look at that option. So on a hit, they are thrown off and make themselves vulnerable to you. Okay. Or they flee. All right. On a 10 plus, choose one. So you can choose one from the list. Uh, the uh, be the monster list, which are uh, you frighten others you had not intended to scare, you hurt someone or break something you shouldn't have, you feel like more of a monster afterward. Mark a condition. I scare someone I shouldn't have scared. Ooh, uh, okay, that's that's interesting. Oh, mm, mm. who would you scare here that you shouldn't have scared? Oh. Maybe somebody walking by outside. Mm -hmm. I'm, th I'm thinking about it. Like, I, basically, what's happening is that outside at this time, the uh, the cars just pulled in, and you know, um, like you know, people are coming. Like, uh, the um retrieval guy, the hired thugs, and Chimera is just uh, sorry, Chimera. Uh, Gecko is coming out of their car, so it's not like someone outside. 
An old lady walking by. I know, there's, there's no old lady walking by at 5 p.m. in the warehouse district with, like, where there's a bunch of hired guns. Unless she's tier one eater, but it's not tier one eater. Um, m maybe, like, choose something else? Like, that option, I don't think it's really applying here. What were the other choices? Um, you hurt someone or break something you shouldn't have. Uh, you feel like more of a monster afterward. Mark a condition. I break the guy's arm as I take the gun away from him. Uh, no, I... Uh, oh, wait, wait, oh, okay, so it's like... Hurt somebody. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Break something you shouldn't have. So, like... But hurt someone, too, you said. Yeah, yeah. Hurt someone or break something you shouldn't have. So, like... Yeah, hurt someone to break his arm. Hurt something, harm someone you shouldn't have. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you you, you shouldn't have. So, like, I, I'm considering. I, I'm considering it. Um, ha. Huh, that is interesting. Uh... There we go. I damaged the building structural support. Oh, 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 uh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? You know what? Sure. Um, so you... Thank you, Alice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that, I, I actually have an idea for that. Uh, so, okay, okay. You did uh, hurt the building structural support, but in a different way. So, okay. So, since you uh, shift into your, like, like you know, that uh, turtle form, your fingers get all, like, you know, swollen and stuff because turtles, and you accidentally press down on the trigger of the gun, spraying bullets from it. Okay. And you do hit the guys, like, uh, to, like the unarmed guy just immediately ducks to the floor and makes it uh, out. The handgun guys all jump to the side, but the other SMG guy takes at least two bullets squarely in his body center mass and is knocked down on his back from the uh, impact. But that's not the that's not the uh, dangerous part. The dangerous part is you shoot into some of the um, some of the uh, chemical drums on the backside, which holds like cleaning like acids, like industrial solvent cleaning, you shoot into that and it's, it starts leaking like immediately into like next, it was kept next to one of the, uh, you know, building structure and it starts like dissolving it and you hear the structure like, you know, groaning as it slowly starts to dissolve and you realize that's definitely not normal industrial solvent because it should not melt through you know iron structural like steel solid steel structure so insanely fast so yeah that's something you definitely probably shouldn't have done because now like you know the damage is somehow spreading like you know it's like super corrosive of some kind that's just like really fast corroding the uh, the um the uh, thingy, the support pillar. Yes, there we go. The support pillar. Okay, so yeah, um, you, and uh, you basically like, are, are you trying to get the gun out of your uh, uh finger because it is jammed into the trigger? <laughs> you can break it if you want to. Like that's not even a role. You, you can just do it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you <laughs> like. You try to grab it and, like, when you feel, like, when you just can't do it, you just rip out your fingers just to break the gun and stop it from, you know, you know, it just, you know, it breaks. So, you know, it stops firing for obvious reason. And the g guy is on the floor, the dude you just shot, and he's, like, groaning. And at that time, um, so, outside, Gecko has come out of the car and is leading the team of about... Um, let's say five more guys, uh, five more dudes in, like, they're wearing, like, they, they have a few, like, they're, like, they all have, uh, rifles slung on their back, uh, AK-47s, again, because, yes, um, uh, some of them, ha some of them are putting on helmets, 
and some of them have like you know uh, braces for their arms and legs because you know they know they're dealing with the Muppet Gwari and uh, they also still have a guy in the car so there's a total of a six people group so five of them goes in one the driver stays in the car and uh, the uh, other three of you say you arrive at the warehouse next door um zinc um do you have uh, like heightened hearing yes okay right, cool uh, as you come closer you hear like this very low intensity some sort of alarm it's nothing major but there's some sort of alarm in there and as you as they start getting closer to the thing you hear this loud gunshot it's very low for everyone else it's like very distant for the other two of you but it is uh, quite like you know loud for zinc because you know what do you do Well, let's see. I was going to say jump from one building to the other and throw a smoke bomb down mm-hmm. so Kamara could get away. Mm-hmm. So. Do, do you have a smoke bomb? Yeah. Uh, did, like, is that like part of your arsenal as, uh, like, a, as a cop? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, yes, I, I, I actually, actually thought that. All right, cool, cool. I will actually write that down. I will write that down. Uh, okay. um, uh, let's write down. Uh, um, so, you don't have any, like, lethal weapon, right? Non-lethals only? Just BB gun. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, you're a cop. Like, you know, non-lethal yeah, weapons will be, like... Uh, you know, rubber guns or like, you know, like, you know, sp- uh, mace, um, taser, that kind of thing. Oh, taser. Uh, somebody posted something. Let me post it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That's a paper ball gun. That sounds adorable. <laughs> Wait. It's... It's a paintball gun, but instead of using paintballs, inside is juicy powder. Oh, oh, pepper ball. I thought it was paper ball, like, like, P-A-P-E-R. So I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, wait, that's adorable. And then, like, oh, no, no, that's bad, no. <laughs> like, um, say, taser and uh, smoke grenade. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, okay, it's like, these are, like, regular cop supplies. Like, this is not, like, your powers. You just have them because you work with the UPP. All right. Cool. Alright, so yes, so you want to do, uh, you want to jump off the building and like you can use your jumpy boots to like land in the yard where the guys, like where the gecko and the guys are walking in. You can just jump right yeah. next to them. That's totally fine. Yeah. Right. Actually, actually, if he alerts us, could I ask him to do me a favor? Uh, are you alerting like the others to your plan of Jumping in and throwing a smoke bomb. Yes. I have an idea. Why don't you throw me at the gecko? <laughs> However, I will say, if you refer to this later on as dwarf tossing, I will give you a wedgie so hard you will need a proctologist, a chiropractor, a psychotherapist, and an optometrist to recover. Just one question. How are you going to give me a wedgie when I have steel armor? <laughs> oh, she will find I a way. figure that out. <laughs> oh, 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 zinc, zinc. You know she will find a way. <laughs> Nina comes right. I said, I heard dro- a dwarf, what? A dwarf scream. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get thrown, what? What? <laughs> Okay, um... Nina is panting behind. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You arrive and you can... uh, Mina, you can obviously recognize the sound of the gun. You can tell the model of the gun and the make of the gun just from that sound because you've been trained to do exactly that. So... so (laughs) Oh gosh. Semi-automatic weapons. No! (laughs) Not a gun! (laughs) (sighs) All right, so um, Zinc, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna throw Dee at Gecko. 
until she gets <laughs> I take out my phone and try to oh take my, a video. Oh my god! Yes! Oh yes! I... Okay. 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 You know what? You know what, man? Like... I don't even know what move is this. Like, I know it's a custom move of sort. It's the fastball special. We all agree on this, but... I, what would you roll for this? I, I'm guessing it's you like know, a mo modified danger roll? Like, you are engaging a bit? Probably just being directly engaged, but it's easy to say what the assist is if I need an assist. Hmm, alright, so... Okay, um... Yeah, tell you what, since Didi is the one actually attacking, uh, why don't you um, uh, roll a uh, directly engage a threat uh, Didi, and we'll see how that goes... Um, and whether you need to do anything. All right. I think I need help. Mm, yeah, I, I, I think you do need help. Uh, it's a good thing you have team pool. And the moment you enter, oh. like the moment you hit Gecko, you will enter battle, and I will do that. So and, just after. And I'll, I'll be I'll be in a china shop too. All right, cool. Ab absolutely. Okay, so um, let's say because it's a fastball special, since you've. Uh, fail the roll by one, you automatically get, like, you don't have to spend team. You just get it from the assist itself, because it's such a badass move. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just giving you this. It's, it's, I, like, this is a money shot for the for the show, okay? Like, like the show spent a lot of animation budget on this. It's not anime style, like, background. It is super detailed and it gets all slow-mo and it's, like, so cool beyond words. <sighs> Alright. So, it's a 7. Go for it. Alright, so sit with the, in the china shop, I guess I get to pick two, correct? Uh, uh, with the China shop. Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Absolutely. Um, tell me how you cause direct, uh, significant collateral damage and choose an additional option. So it's a seven. Uh, so probably, probably after I hit him, I bounce off the car. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's like, uh, choose your options and we'll, we'll, um, figure out what happens, I guess. Uh, let's resist them. And why don't we create an opportunity for our allies? Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, so. Um. Uh. Hey, how about this? Uh, let me know if this seems more appropriate. Since you did roll a miss, but I gave you that seven because it's such a badass move. So, like, um, Zinc throws. Except Zinc has never done this before. So, like, you know, he's throwing like you know, throwing like a normal trajectory because his mind just calculates the trajectory of a block of mass that would be, it's like an ideal mass, except you're not an ideal mass, you have like aerodynamics in your body, there's like drags and stuff, so you actually like spin around a few times in the air and <laughs> like completely divert off your course and head for the car. Uh, you get to choose whose car, Gecko's car or the, do, uh, or the um, uh, goons' car. Oh, Gecko. Alright, ab like absolutely, that. absolutely. You smash, like, into the roof of Gecko's car, and, like, like you just prepare yourself, and the moment you smash, and you use it to bounce off the car, just completely caving the roof in, and l jump into, like, just squarely hit into Gecko. He just has moments noticed at hearing the car turning around before this tiny thing... <laughs> <laughs> whams into her. Uh, give me your options again. Uh, I, I just forgot because of the awesome scene. I'm sorry. I'm going to resist <laughs> or avoid their blows, mm -hmm. and I will also create an opportunity for my allies. All right. In other words, I think I'm pretty much drawn Oh my gosh, yes. So my like, 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 everyone notices you. The guys on the floor inside the fact, uh, inside the, sorry, not factory, the warehouse, all looks, look at the crashing of the car, and then, whoop, the gecko getting sla like gecko getting literally um dd slammed in the face or like wh which bo whichever body part you want and <laughs> even the guy like everyone except the guy who's been shot by two bullets it just he's groaning don't mind him he needs medical attention like fast but yeah and uh Kimera, you also see this as <laughs> a tiny 
red-headed blur just slam into um I actually forgot your hair hair color. I just assumed redhead. I'm quickly checking because that's your thing. Okay. No, she's redhead. Yes. I know you said that's your thing, but I, I just like I just quickly assumed that was. Anyway. Alright. So cool. When I said your thing, I meant like you prefer PCs with redhead for some reason. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Um I'm not implying anything else. Okay. I don't know why I said that and specified anything. Anyway, uh, okay, so yeah, um, it's I is I you can't really recognize it because it came so fast, but you're fairly sure you have an idea who this is because you've seen this maneuver a few times before. This this little red blur, like red-headed blur, crashing into people. <laughs> All right, and um. Yeah, and you completely hold the um the guys the uh, goons' attention, even the driver, and um yeah you you don't get hit by anything because you know you resist your about their blows. Um, Gecko just gets hit before he can even do anything. Zing and uh, uh Red Fox, you have a clearing. Like everyone's attention is diverted to this melee scuffle between um Gecko and Didi or Dudu. I say, oh shit, and then try to. <laughs> Wait, how far are we? Uh, you're just like um, I don't know. Let let me actually uh, calculate. Uh, how much is that? Uh, and not, it's not very far. You're like on the like across the roof, I'd say. So I um, don't know, fifteen meters, twenty meters maximum, considering like the height, maybe twenty-five tops. It's like very close. Like um, oh, Zinc can make it in one jump. You can probably uh, like you know, um, parkour down to the ground and then run uh, across the street. Okay, <laughs> as I'm parkouring down the street, mm -hmm. try to um, basically confuse. People from the other car. Um, there's the driver in the other car, uh, the goon's car. Uh, there's nobody oh. else in the uh, gecko's car whose uh, roof has caved in. Uh, the uh, five goons are next to uh, gecko. They are trying to draw their grunts, but really can't because gecko is in a melee scuffle. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, do you want to like um? like telepathically use your powers on the driver the agoon driver uh yes okay. cool well, i'll make him what do you want to do i'll make him here of the picture this is just a driver so i will make him hear gecko tell him to go away um, he, he can see Gecko in fight, right? Oh, so <laughs> yeah, in right, yeah, of yeah, the yeah, right, right in front because oh, he's looking out of the car. Each other. Yeah, shit. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna run my way down and try to hide before I ambush. I try to help DD in the fight. Okay, okay. So, um, like you're hiding next to the car that he's in because his attention is diverted towards the fight. Like you all, all have yes. your opportunity to hide. All right, so cool. You I'll hide in next. Okay, car. okay. You're you're like hiding right next to the van. Like literally, anybody looking at the mm -hmm. van would see you, but they're not looking at the van. So you know you're fine. You know you're fine. Okay, uh, Zinc, what do you do? Well, I can jump down to where Camara is and try to get him to come with me and get away from everyone. Okay, um, so Chimera is inside, like, after your move, we will take care of the battle thing, the team thing, and then we'll have Chimera, like, respond to this sudden intrusion, like, sudden appearance of his team. So, yeah, uh, so, um, Chimera is inside the warehouse right now. He has, j okay. yeah. 
like there's the warehouse there's like a little bit of a yard in front of it like very small there's like um a forklift uh, there's like two or th two forklifts and some wheelbarrows there just that and like there's the outer wall and behind that are the two cars that's it and across the street is where you're jumping from okay just jump down and get behind them and try to get everyone to to well i don't know i forget um uh get behind whom the gangsters and all that oh okay so the uh, gangsters are like you know the uh, f five goon squad uh they're like uh standing like they're su they're trying to surround um um well they're trying to surround uh gecko like trying to cover like trying to get a clear shot at uh dd but dd's like you know we'll we'll figure out what's happening so so like you can get behind like some of them but not all of them yeah all right cool so you jump yeah you can just like it's your power you can just jump behind them uh what do you do as you like land next to them because they will notice you land the moment you land Well, I can punch one. Okay, that's more like <laughs> it. Roll to directly engage a threat. Atta boy. Alright, you have two on that roll. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Alright, that nine though. Alright. Okay, so. Um, yeah, uh, choose options from the directly engage. You get to choose one option. You land, you punch. What happens? Impress, surprise, or, or um, frighten the opposition. All right. Uh, okay. So you land, you punch <laughs> one of the guys, and like he has armor on so like but you're robocop okay like <laughs> armor is for blocking normal human punch it doesn't block robocop punch nor dd punch like that's no you need way better armor for that <laughs> like like medieval uh, like solid steel medieval style armor <laughs> for that so he's kind of like he's kind of flown back like six like I like two meters or something, but one of his friends noticed, and he like he is like surprised, and he's like he couldn't even get like he's just thrown back. But the other guy draws his gun and uh, fires at you. So yeah, roll to take a powerful blow. Ah, uh, let me actually open up the roll to take a powerful blow move. Yeah, poop. So you have no condition, so it should be fine. Totally fine. Wow, nice. Uh, you get to mark potential. Woohoo. Very nice. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, you're just one off from your next advancement. I am so happy. I am so happy right now. Okay. Alright, uh... Um, you tell me how you uh, stand strong. Like he fires. Like do do you like hit the guy into the other guy so the bullets go flying, or somehow yes. dodge? All right. Okay, so you, like the guy opens fire, but this other dude just flies into him, knocking him out. Like no, not not knocking him out, just knocking him down, and the bullets go spraying wild. Doesn't hit anyone. But, you know, also doesn't hit anyone. So, yes, awesome. Alright, now we will uh, do the um, uh, team thing, aka, like, when you enter battles. And I actually wrote this down in the handout. So, you can now look at it, like, with your eyeballs. Don't look at it with, with your ears. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, okay, so uh, if you scroll down, it's in uh, yellow highlight, so... When you enter battle against a dangerous foe as a team, uh, add two to the team pool. All right. Okay. Uh, who is the leader here? Uh, 
That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Dee Dee. Well, Dee on the roof of a car. No, Dee Dee's smashed against them, uh, the gecko. All right, sounds like Dee Dee's the uh, leader. All right, then. Uh, okay, so Dee Dee, do you have influence over everyone here? No, right? You don't have influence I over. I don't have it over Camaro. Yes, all right. You don't have influence over that, so you don't gain that team. Uh, what is everyone's purpose in this fight? To escape. Escape. I don't know about. Or in our case, to get Chimera to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, no, no. Um, no. Chimera's Chimera. escape and your rescue attempt is. I'm gonna say they're the same purpose because you're trying to rescue Chimera. Chimera's trying to rescue, be rescued. So yeah, it's fine. You're like that's the same purpose. I'll consider it. So all right. So you add another team. Yay. Okay. D- does any team member mistrust DD or the team? No. No. Cool. No. Is the team ill prepared or off balance? I don't think so, right? I really don't think so. <laughs> I think we've got pretty much an hand. I mean, like. We, we knew this fight was coming. Yeah, yeah, guys. yeah. There, there is no, like, yeah. So, yeah. Done. So, you have four team in the pool. Let's go. Let's go, people. All right. Chimera, we're coming to you first. Uh, you see two of your teammates just arrived outside and start coming in hard. What do you do? And the others that are around me are pointing their guns at them now? Um, The uh, dudes on the ground, like, uh, they're getting back up on their feet the moment you, like, they were surprised. Like, the moment you... Broke the gun. They were going to get up, but the uh, like then like they were all distracted by this sudden sound from outside. And yes, you are like they are getting back to their feet with their guns drawn. Like they- I'm gonna slam into the closest one mm-hmm. with my, in my trail form. Okay, it's the other SMG guy. <laughs> Besides him, because he's down. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, one of the SMG guys... Oh, right, right, right. One of them is unarmed. Right, right, right. One SMG guy is unarmed. Um, the other and got hurt, shot. So, no. Yeah, no. The, yep. un- the unarmed guy didn't get shot. The other... The armed SMG guy got shot. And he's he's down. He's, he's down for the count. So, the unarmed guy is quickly, like, trying to get away from you. Uh, so, yeah, you have three handgun guys in front of you. You st- I'll go out one the closest handgun guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, absolutely. Uh, directly engage a threat. Let's see what happens. See the action. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> you're killing it, man. You're you you you're, you're killing it. Just kill it. Okay. What do you do? Oh, uh, keep in mind you can like anytime you directly engage. If you can y- use your uh, playbook move uh, not human enough alongside it, because it just gives you more options. If you mark a condition, you get to choose an additional option. Um, I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Directly right. engage the threat, mm-hmm. resist or avoid their blows, mm-hmm. and take something from them. Right. I take their handgun. All right, absolutely. You slam into them, take away their handguns, and just, just swat them away, because you're in turtle form. You are a ninja turtle. <laughs> you just ninja ninja hands hand like you know the um like backhand you just backhand him away. Just grab his gun, backhand him away. And he's just like goes like he just gets knocked back like um like you know, like five, six feet and just slams into the ground. <laughs> um, you have the gun in you know your hand. It is smaller than your fingers right now, <laughs> because you're huge, right? You're slightly huge. Your fingers are huge now. Uh, Throw it away. All right, absolutely. not towards the guy that's unarmed, but all right. Like you, you, just away from everybody. Um, you can just crush it in your hand right now if you want. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that's, crush it then. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like you know. Realize it's gone. Yeah, yeah, you, you, like you know your um uh, what what powers did you take again? I'm quickly gonna check. 
uh, armor and oh oh armor oh sorry 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 i thought you took uh, super strength okay my bad no yeah oh, okay so uh, you you can crush it but you'll have to like roll uh, unleash for that so yeah you can just throw it you know in a corner that's fine like you can throw strong like you can throw it that that's totally fine it doesn't weigh that much all right um Okay, and now the other guys, since you resisted uh, or avoided their blows, uh, uh, the other guys are now, like, turning towards, like, they, like, this guy was just, like, getting up when you did that, so the other guys use this opportunity to stand up fully and start drawing their gun, but they're not fast enough to shoot at you yet, so, like, that will be when, like, like, we'll see what happens next, so, Mina. Yes. What do you do? Me guys still have a gun. Um. Okay. So outside the warehouse, we have uh five goons. Uh, one of them got knocked into the other, and they're on the like they're trying to get back up. They're trying to untangle themselves because they're like their guns kind of got like wrapped into each other's straps, so they're like trying to untangle it. Um, the three guys uh, there are turning their guns towards uh, Zinc because Zinc is not in a melee with their, you know, their boss right now. So they can fire at him without any remorse. <laughs> I will, I will make them feel my pain <laughs> uh, okay. with delicacy. Okay. Um, like. Up their gun. Oh, like, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So, are you want like, if you want to attack like only one of them, that's the directly engage. If you want to attack all of them, we're gonna force you and unleash, and then we'll see what happens based on that roll. So, which one do you want to do? Just one of them or all three I'd of them? I would say all three of them. All right. Cool. Then roll me and unleash, and depending on the roll, we'll decide what you choose. Don't fuck me, roll 20. Nah. Nah. That's one, I guess. Yeah. What do you do? It's an unleash. So, if you mark a condition, it's a full hit. Otherwise, it's gonna be unstable and temporary. Uh, wait, where is my condition? Uh, you only have um guilty. I will, uh, I will put insecure. I don't know what I I can't do much. Mm, there's a lot of guns. Oh my there's a lot of bullets flying. Yes, there's a lot of bullets flying. It reminds you of being hit before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Um, actually, you do it, but. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to give you a complication. So, you uh, do do it. Um, okay. Uh, roll me a directly engage. And based on the outcome, we'll see what happens. Directly engage. Uh, it's, it? um, yeah. Like, mm, your condition doesn't affect that yet. Okay. Okay, absolutely. Uh, all right. Which option do you take? Wait, uh, basic moves, right? Um, yeah, it's like right here. I will take something from them. Okay. Uh, the guns. I will. I would like them to drop the guns. Okay. Uh, so you start channeling uh, pain, the feeling of pain, into all three of them. While you're doing that, you're feeling like insecure because. You have this sensation, you have this notion that something, there's something you're forgetting. Something kind of important and you're forgetting it. So, but you still push through it, you pay no attention to that nagging thought. But it does, like, you know, it, like, you know that there's this nagging thought inside you. And we're going to figure out what that is soon. So, you, um, and one of them just... Ah, drops the gun and holds his head as he like uh, falls on like falls to his knees on the floor. Ah, what the heck is going on? Uh, the other two, however, like has this like their 
like they don't drop their guns they're kind of like they do have this mind they have do they have this headache but they start um looking around to um see what's going on and uh i'll be right back all right cool um so they start looking around what's going on and uh then the, the one of them sees you and you look and they're like there her i see her you, you get the you, you get the robocop i'm getting her and uh fires at you mina roll to take a powerful blow That's again i i mean you didn't take resist or avoid their blows right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have two conditions. Come on. <sighs> it, it's all seven. Rolto is fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> is that the same roll? Oh, okay, no, it's not the same roll. Well, the last two are the same rolls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> roll twenty likes you. It's the triple seven. You hit a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. okay. Where is it again? <sighs> oh, it's Seven. um it's right here. Uh like, you know, take a powerful blow. Uh you lash out verbally, uh you give ground or you struggle past the pain. I will Okay, I will probably give ground. Absolutely. Uh, the traumatic. Uh, the guns, like the... Sh That's the traumatic. Uh, uh, wait, what? I think Mina had the trauma of getting shot. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You, like, quickly duck around the car as the bullets hit the, like, wall of the car next to you. Um... Yeah, and you you basically give ground because you back away from the gun sh gun shots. You're kind of scared at the bullets flying again because you literally just got shot like three days ago, literally three days ago. Oh, um, remember the opposition gets an opportunity part of that move. Remember that there is a driver in the car that you're hiding next to. Yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he. He didn't forget about you because he didn't knew you were there. Well, he does now. See, so he looks out. Wait, why are you shooting at me? He's like, wait, what? Okay, he's looking down. At the same time, Mina, as you duck away from the thing, you feel in your pocket your phone vibrating. It's a call. It's not a text. I just... I just realized what's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I actually answered it and say, okay, not now, not now. Getting shot out. And, uh, and on the other side, you well, you do see it's Mr. Kane. Yep. Mr. Kane is like, Miss Wolfgang, uh, I told you to keep a clear schedule. The... Raid, we just have our opening. The raid is going down in 10 minutes. Please be here at this location. He just gives you the location, which is actually still in the warehouse district. It's just far to the south. Like, you're in, like, the northern side, but it's far to the south. So it's not far from you. You can get there in less than five minutes. And the raid is going down in 10 minutes. <laughs> I will say yes. I will try. It was still alive, Jesus. But you know, you need to get like you need to get there now. Otherwise, you will be late. So you need to get moving right now. I will. I will say okay. Why? I'm just gonna drop the 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 call. I will. Miss Wolfgang. Look around. Uh, Miss Wolfgang. The call cuts. Okay, what do you do now? I will look around who else is standing. Uh, the door next to you uh, opens and the driver steps out with a handgun. Oh gosh. 
I will Who the hit hell? him with. He starts. Uh, go on, go on. Like it's still yours. I will before he would he would say that I will karate chop him in the neck to make him to try him to fall asleep. Absolutely, directly engage a threat. Or if you have a power, like if you have like a move for that in your uh, playbook, you can do that also if you want to. I guess not. Nope. All right. Okay. Cool. Actually, um, sure. Go ahead. You, you don't like, you know, your conditions doesn't affect your, uh, danger. Hey, nice. What do you want to take? Oh, sorry. What, what do you want to do? Sorry. My bad. I said, what do you want to take? Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, can I, can I make him fall fall asleep as I karate chop him in the neck? Ah. <sighs> No. Nope. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you know what? Yes, you can. But keep in mind, if you don't take the option, resist or avoid their blows, he will get a shot off. Oh, okay. I will resist or avoid their blows. Okay. Well, I do that. Okay. So, like, in order to take that option, you have to take take something from them, and you can take their consciousness for this particular instance. It it won't be a general thing. Okay. But if you yes. take that option, you are not taking the option resist or avoid their blows. Because you only can take one option. So if you I'm... resist or avoid their blows, you will not get shot. But he's not going to fall asleep. Still standing right there. Yeah. 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 I will risk it. I will make him fall asleep. Okay. And just sure. Hope yeah. for the best. Absolutely. Absolutely do it. Um... I am not going to make you roll a basic move, uh, take a powerful blow. I will, what? I am not going to make you take a roll to uh, take a powerful blow, even the bullets start, even though the bullets start flying. What am I going to do? I, I'm, I I, I'm just going to immediately, um, like, give you a condition. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, take a condition. Uh, angry. You're a angry that both your lives are crashing into each other. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, you do knock him out. And you are very angry that your lives are crashing together. Um, before we, like, we will see, like, what you decide. And, like... If you decide to, like, the camera will cut away from you now. And when we come back to you, if you say that you've gone to uh, meet with Mr. Kane, then we'll just see the, like, Mina's no longer there. And the audience will realize that you, uh, like, you know, left to, you know, your prior engagement. Or we'll see what else. So the camera cuts away from you now. All right. So, okay. Um, Didi. You have been thrashing. Yes. You have been thrashing with your uncle. No, no, you're not. You've been thrashing with the gecko, who is in no way related to your uncle at all. No, my uncle has a good teeth. Yeah, yeah. This is totally a different person who has scales. And definitely not a goatee. Okay, so I know that some guys are trying to shoot at, yep, yep. at Zing, correct? Yes, and you also are in a melee scuffle, like... Like, Gecko is not physically strong as you, okay? But he's a Gecko, so he's very limber. So he can, like, he he can, like, he's like a, um, those contortion, he has, like, contortionist. There we go. He's like a contortionist. He's always contorting his bodies out of the way of your punches and your kicks. And he, <laughs> and he can pretty, like, soundly, like, keep you at bay, but can't move out of melee scuffle from you. So, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I may as well just straight out attack him. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally. Absolutely. He's not, he's not your uncle. Why get cute when you can just punch the gecko? Yeah, he, he's not your uncle. Punch him. Nobody cares. <laughs> hey! Are you taking that option, though? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm absolutely. I'm, uh, I'm. Of course, I'm doing this with uh, in the China shop. All right, absolutely. Uh, 
Uh, you take two options then. Let's go. What are your options on the danger? Course? All right. So let's resist or avoid their blows still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let us. Um, uh, yeah, let's impress surprise and frighten the opposition and see if we can start getting some to scatter by putting the fear of God or, well, us into them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. <coughs> You manage to land some, like, he's a slippery little bugger, this gecko fella, but he's not slippery enough. He's old, he's not young, he's not, he doesn't have that teenage level of adrenaline, and you manage to land some strong punches in this guy. And he is reeling, he is kinda scared. He's, like kind of scared from you he's now fighting more defensively you like he, you don't see it in his face but you realize that his fighting style is slowly getting more dodging and less like trying to get a one up on you now you can feel like he's trying to move out of melee range all right uh and yeah um the uh, I'm probably in the process I damage another car by bolting off of it in order to go after him or something. Um hmm. Here's an idea. Uh do you actually throw him into his car and then continue wailing on him? Sure. Okay. Sure, that yeah. car, I, I don't like that. Yeah, nobody likes that car. You just <laughs> slam him, like you just grab him, he's just so slippery and you basically say some quippy, like, witty one-liner about him being slippery. I'm sure you can think of something. I, I'm an angry bull. I probably can't. Okay. Alright. So, uh, uh, so you think you're slippery? Well... Slip on this? Take this punch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you just grab him and throw him into the car and he's so lucky he has scales over his body because otherwise that would have hurt. Very badly. It still hurts, <laughs> but he's still standing. His spine isn't snapped or anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you don't let him even get up. You continue, like, coming at him. All right. Um, we'll get to that. Um, so, yeah. You just totally wreck the car. The, the car is pretty much, like, very badly damaged. You can no longer damage it further. As part of your move. Like, you can still damage it, like, narratively, but you can no longer use it as a move. Alright. Okay. Uh, next up is, uh, um, uh, Zinc or Chimera? Uh, who would go first? Uh, let's see, I actually, let's go with, um, uh, Zinc, because, uh, after you landed, Chimera already did the move. So, Zinc, you have this guy bringing up his gun, about to shoot you. What do you do? Go and try to punch him again. The other one. Uh, uh, the other one, as in the guy that the other guy that shoot getting ready to shoot at me. Absolutely. Um, um, uh, directly engage a threat. It's a danger road. Yeah. Ow. Well now, give me those options. Them rolls though, them rolls. Nobody's leveling up today. No, nobody. <laughs> uh, resist and avoid their blows. Mm -hmm. And impress, surprise, and frighten other the other option. Uh, Alright, okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, uh, he gets ready to shoot. Um, you punch him. Just, just like, straight out punch him. He is knocked back into one of the uh, wheelbarrows, and he just tumbles back, like, on the wheelbarrow. He just, like, the wheelbarrow flops over, and he just, like, oh, what? It's just, it's suddenly he's standing, the next moment he feels this odd, like, very powerful punch in his body. It's 
like his entire like like his ribs aren't caved in but it hurts so badly they might have been and he's suddenly upside down and he's like wait what just happened <laughs> so <laughs> he's not like he's not frightened he's just surprised how did i what why are my feet up in the air? He's he's totally lost his balance for a few <laughs> seconds. It's going to take him like a lot, a little bit of time to get out and untangle himself from the wheelbarrow because the wheelbarrow also tumbled over. So he's like his legs are now pointed towards the sky. You can see it behind the wheelbarrow. Okay, Chimera. Uh, Is there still a person with a handgun in here? Uh, there's two persons with a handgun in here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to shift into Gorilla, launch myself at him, and try to smack him with the longer arms. Okay, absolutely. Um, uh, roll to, uh, hmm. yeah, that's and the extra yeah. And the extra strength from being a gorilla. Yep, absolutely. Uh, directly engage a threat. Danger, 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 danger. Resist, resist their blows. All right, cool. So you uh, lunge into them. You uh, manage to swing away one of them. The other one tries to get a shot, but then like it kind of ducks out of your hand's reach. You do manage to swing away one of them. Like one of them is knocked like into one of the walls, and the other can't really fire because he's ready to duck and. If you're heading outside, like, the way is clear. The door is clear. There's nothing between you and, like, the outside right now. There's okay. stuff out in the yard. There's more people. But uh, I think your friends have it covered. So, speaking of friends, let's uh, go back to Mina and see what which friend she decides to go with. Mina, are you still here behind the car when the camera can't, turns back to you? Yes, I'm staying. Okay. All right then. Uh, since you're staying, you are automatically marking uh, three uh, things on Mr. Kane. All right. Yes. Absolutely nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. You mark three obligations on Mr. Kane, and uh, we will see how that relates. <laughs> what the hell, man? <sighs> Oh my gosh. Anyway. Okay. So, Mina, what do you do? I will... How many... I think there's only two people left, right? Uh, you have, like, you see uh, Gecko next to his car. You have uh, Didi rushing in, about to jump into Gecko a second time. <laughs> you have uh, the two guys whose weapons were tangled, they have untangled them. They're standing up and they're about to turn their weapons. Uh, the guy who's uh, shooting at you is like coming towards the car, but now he turned around at hearing the other friend get punted into the wheelbarrow. So now, so what you have is two guys, two of the uh, like rifle guys, uh, aka goons, standing up. Uh, with their guns, you have one of them pointing their guns towards uh, Chimera, ready to shoot. You have Didi to the side, and you have t uh, one, the driver, knocked out next to you. You have two guys knocked out on the floor, one in, like, upside down, and yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, so, yeah. so, so the guys, the guy who was trying to shoot me walked walk near the car I was hiding on right before... Before getting distracted, he is now uh, distracted and looking towards uh, Chimera. Yes. Yes, I will pop up right beside him and I will try to knock him out too. Okay, absolutely. Directly engage a threat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> My rose isn't getting any higher. No, is it? no, I mean, it's eight, it got one higher. You, you can't argue it got one higher. She, yes. she keeps skirting, though, in the issue where if I were to spend my one to help her, it would, you know, it would put her over the edge. She keeps being away from that boundary. I mean, <laughs> like, like I did say you can use both at once if you want to. Oh, I thought you wanted to. Yeah, 
may as well. So what, what is her plan again? The other person, again, I'm probably... Uh, one of the AK and... guys is um, pointing uh, that's closer to their car, is point, turning back towards uh, Zinc and is about to open fire and she's kind of coming up behind him about to like uh you know throat pun throat sla throat punch him to knock him out basically well yeah. neck, neck punch. Okay. i'll i'll assist her by just basically you know screaming in anger and helping to draw his attention away from her all right sure absolutely um by the way if you do this uh you realize that you won't like Gecko will manage to get back on his feet if you do this. So is that cool? Just yelling to assist? Yes. Like, you know, you're turning your attention to this guy because you need to knowingly yell to assist. You can't just unknowingly do that. All right, we'll still do it. All right, absolutely. I, I, I can handle Gecko. Sure, absolutely. You can totally handle Gecko. He definitely doesn't have anything weird up his sleeve. Nothing. All right, so you use up your two holds. All right, and uh, you, uh, Mina, you have a 10 on that, so you can pick two from the thingy. Okay, I will, I will take his... You know, and I will uh, avoid their blows. Okay. Uh, in this, I I think you said consciousness. Like, you can't do it in this particular oh. case. That was a very dramatic moment. That's why I let you because you also had to deal with Mr. Kane. But not like for oh, this trip, then, not. I'll just take his gun away. Okay. Absolutely. You you can do that. And, uh, and then and avoid our sister blows. All right, absolutely. You are uh, like uh, throat punch them. Their like their uh, ar body armor protects them from that because this guy actually had his helmet on. The uh, driver did not, so your hand is blocked by the helmet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> you hit the helmet. It hurts, but it's fine because you're not using your wounded hand. You're using your non-wounded hand. So, so it's fine. Like, well, you know, not your wounded side. Your, your other hand because you're ambidextrous and totally fine. And yeah, you take away their gun. Like, he's surprised and you take away their gun. Okay. Okay, great. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Didi. Uh, you now turn your attention back to Gecko, and you see Gecko has stood up on his feet. Oh no, I'm not done with you. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid you are, little girl. And he, uh, he brings out out of his, not out of his sleeves, out of his inner pocket, a little tiny, like, you know, test tube-like um, vial, and he smashes it into the ground. And it spews out instantly, like Nevoa, um, Nevoa smoke, like a lot of smoke. It's a ninja smoke thing. Oh my god, there are ninjas everywhere. There's a ninja and the turtle. Okay, it's, it's done. It's official. <laughs> this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my god, you're a Teenage Mutant Turtle. We All we need to do for Chimera is to have ninja training, and you will be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Um, ninja Smoke. Uh, what do you do, um, Didi, when the Ninja Smoke hits? What do you do? <laughs> I'm going to have to... I, I have to attack some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I like, yeah, for all you know, hurt. he's still there. He's he's just uh, engulfed in smoke. What do you do? I'll, I'll run in and, well, let me just try to blindly swing the car around and see if I can hit him. Okay, absolutely. Um, Let's say, um, uh, let's say, uh, do you want to assess or, do, no, I, I think you're too angry to assess, right? So it would be, yeah, yeah it would be an unleash then. All right, go, go for an unleash, absolutely. Totally. Unleash your powers! Your powers! 
You do have angry marks, so you actually get a plus one on that roll. Hey, you included that. Thank you. You're the best. All right. So you have the seven. So, okay. It's an unleash. So are you marking a condition? Or will it be unstable or temporary? Oh, no. We... we or pissed where you have to mark a condition that hit something I just have to figure out what's appropriate oh okay um I'm gonna I'm gonna mark guilty because I'm still reminded that we're here to save Camara mm -hmm. and Camara was captured after I left the previous battle so yep you fleed from the previous battle I mean I fleed with a bleeding Core, sure, but, sure. However, you want to justify that, man. Totally, totally. Be right back. All right. So, um, so I mark, uh, I mark. Yeah, you mark guilty. Uh, what do you want to do? You wanted to. You're like rushing into the smoke and trying to like blindly swing your arms to hit something, right? No, no. I wanted to swing the car. <laughs> Never mind. You wanted to swing the. <laughs> Actual frigging broken down car. My bad. Sure. Absolutely. You go in a rage. You grab the car. And you swing it very, very Hulk-like. <laughs> Literally nobody on the street is having a phone out. Because there's nobody on the street. The moment guns fire started erupting, anyone on the street just escaped. The street is very empty right now because A, it's the warehouse district. B, it's like this still sun up. So until like it's evening, there's not going to be much traffic here anyway. So whatever traffic there was, they just cleared out. Nope. Nope. There's gunfire. Turn the other way. So you swing the car around and you throw the car. It smashes <laughs> into the van. The, the goon's van. Just, just smashes like it flies into the windscreen of the goons van just enters inside so it's like 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 there's one car inside the other <laughs> oh jeez oh, um it does help clear the smoke because somehow like i don't know why but maybe maybe move like swinging around a like a half ton car creates a lot of wind that clears smoke. I don't know. <laughs> so yes, um, the smoke clears. There is no gecko. <laughs> Do you give out a scream? A, a, yeah, of, an of angry rage, yell. an angry scream of rage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Angry. Oh, I'm not afraid. No, 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 no. Angry scream of pure rage. Pure rage. This is like Hulk scream, except if Hulk was a little 14-year-old girl. You ruined my career, Geeko! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would have been such a verbal directly engaged if he was at the scene, but he's not. <laughs> and and to be fair, Esteban is a geek. Let's let's all be honest here. He's a chemist. He's totally a geek. He's totally a geek. Anyway, uh, okay, uh, Chimera, you have come outside. Um, you see two guys uh, that have just drawn their gun, and one of them turns towards you and opens fire with an AK. It's an AK. Like, you can try to dodge out of the way, which would be unleash your powers, or you can, like, um, uh, take a powerful blow. So that's up to you. Shift in, shift in the cat and try to dodge away. Absolutely. Unleash your powers. What? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You did it. You did it. All right. So... Uh, it is, uh, if you mark a condition, you will do it. Otherwise, it will be unstable or temporary. What would it be like to be unstable or temporary? Um, hmm, that's a good GM's question. discretion. Yeah, I, I haven't decided um, that yet. Here's the question. Does someone want to try to assist him? Just one little pip puts him up to 10. Yeah, and you do have four teams. So if somebody wants to assist, 
like zinc is kind of cleared right now because the dude that was pointing the gun at him is well right now like engaged with mina uh sorry uh, red fox you do have the other guy like these two guys that were untangled like tangled entangled with each other they just unentangle themselves they are they've gotten up one of them had turned towards uh chimera and start open fire the other is turning towards gek um uh uh sorry uh, zinc and is about to shoot if you want to do something to these two people that could totally help them or something it's up to you i mean if no one else wants to assist i'm willing to assist if you let me no no i i, I don't think you're in the mental capacity to assist right now <laughs> i will no, try I'm to just... assist i will i i will say oh, like yes. like like you're like busy with this guy right next to you and he's not down okay. so like only zinc can really assist in this situation because like one of you is distracted like in scuffle with another person the other one is kind of screaming at the uh, air in frustration that the target ran away the person who ruined their life um so only zinc can really assist but if zinc doesn't want to that's totally fine i mean it is a nine No, I don't want to. Ah, absolutely sure. So, like if you mark a condition, you will do what you set out to do. Otherwise, I will think of how it's unstable or temporary. Uh, let's go with angry. Ah, cool. So, you a your first condition. Woo. You mark angry and you manage to quickly uh, jump out of the way as the guns fire um zinc uh yeah. the other guy turned towards you and uh also opens fire what do you do walk towards him and punch him in the head all right then roll to take a powerful blow you are getting hit by the guns gun fire gun gunfire gunfire well now um your freak is actually uh one so it would be a 12 so you know it's still a massive success so okay um you just took a 12 on the roll to take a powerful blow <laughs> choose your options from the 10 plus list Uh it should be open I'm showing it to all players so it should be open on the roll 20 screen It is It should be Yeah, yeah it is oh. You said twelve. So let's see. Oh, sorry. No, it's it is an eleven. Sorry, I uh, you don't have any conditions, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. it's still like ten plus. So you get to choose one from the ten plus list. So either you must remove yourself from the situation, ah, uh, you're seriously injured, or two options from the seven to nine list. I must say, just remove myself from the situation. Okay. Ah. Uh, You get to choose how you do that: flee or pass out. I'll flee. All right. Um. So, the uh the uh bullets like um hit into you square in your um chassis, and actually uh manage to hit some of your internal wiring, and um it doesn't like it doesn't give you any um um it doesn't like give you any permanent injury or anything but you're reminded of the last time your chassis was kind of like 
um you know um bad stuff was happening and like you know your chassis was about to like fall off during the uh, fight on wednesday and not just that you get to have this other like flash of imaginary um vision in your head of like you're in some sort of like bus you're standing around like you're standing there's so, like there's like there's people right next to you on the seats you know you have a seat but you have stood up you're in the middle of the bus like hanging like holding one of the like seats for balance and like you're talking to some of these people whose faces you don't like you don't see any features on them so they're like faceless like as if you're in a dream of sort like this is like a flash of memory so it's like instantaneously happening appearing in your head and then there's this um the entire your like the bus tumbles it just starts tumbling and you are thrown into like into multiple seats into the r r rods into the handles and your like body is gets mangled up and the vision ends and when the vision ends you find yourself fleeing from the scene like you're in a like you're in a little bit of a daze so when you like return to your senses of sort you realize that you are no longer at the scene where you were and you replay the memory in your head of what just happened and you see like you got hit you turn towards the floor you just run you just jump boot up onto the roof of the building that you jump from and then just ran from roof to roof away from where you were Okay. You have uh, removed yourself from the situation. Um, Didi, you were alerted by this um, sudden jumpy noise, and then you see uh, Zinc just running away. Nina, so did you. Kimera, so did you. Well, did we? We we saw that he took some bullets too, right? Uh, uh, you probably like you probably heard the gunfire. You turned around to see him, like see like gunshots on him, like uh, bullet shots on him, like dents, and then he just suddenly turns, jumps, and runs. Okay, well, and I I have to figure that he's trying to get himself out of harm's way. Um. At least it means he's still functional. I have to worry about my friends that are still here. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm pissed at the guy who just shot him with a gun. So, it's my turn to act. I'm probably going to do something against him. Sure, do it. Uh, let's be unoriginal and then just fly and kick into him. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Um, There's two guys with, standing next to each other. In a... In a Okay, well, yeah, with, of course, in the china shop. If I can hit both, great. If I only hit the one who shot him, that's the priority. All right, sure, absolutely. Uh, directly engage a threat. Yeah, boy. You want to take in a china shop. All right, you can cause significant collateral damage to your environment and choose total three options. All right, so we're going to resist their blows. Um, let's take the gun from them, and let's create an opportunity for our allies. Okay. Um, we Maybe we inadvertently, when we grab the gun and we toss it, we accidentally throw it through some poor neighbor's window or something. I don't know what you just said because you went kind of quiet. Uh, maybe when we grab the gun from him and throw it away out of his reach, we inadvertently throw it through some poor person's window or something. Uh, rainbow? Can you hear me? Test? Poor person's rainbow? Uh, what did you say? Window. window. We, throw, we throw the gun mm -hmm. through someone's window. There's only it's warehouses here. Oh. There's no, like, this is not a residential area. There's, like, there's 
residential area like on the outside of the warehouse district but like inside like the place where you are right now like there's only warehouses okay but i mean if we throw the gun with enough force maybe we accidentally damage the building that was already damaged from the acid what if you um sh like hit the gun in a way it lands on the ground and wildly shoots towards the acid spill and starts a fire. <laughs> okay, works for me. I'm I don't know, I just think a fire in a chemical storage warehouse is a kind of a big deal. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of a big Leave deal. All right. That. You just slam into the flying kick into the guy, just put him down on the floor, take away the gun, throw huh? it away. It lands right next to the dude who is already shot because your throws are gigantically powerful. And it wildly shoots into the chemical. And he's like, ah, no! He's like, he's groaning, and then suddenly he. He, like, could barely move because he already has two bullets lodged into him. But yet, when he, the gun lands next to him and starts firing, he's like, ah, just rolls away in some kind of superhuman adrenaline prowess. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. It's, I'm no Wilhelm, but I try my best. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Uh, and the warehouse catches on fire. Yay! Great! Yes, uh, Mina! <laughs> what do you do? You're still in melee scuffle with this other guy. He no longer has a gun though. Uh, you, you can have the gun if you want. Like, you can hold it in your hand if you want. Totally. Or you can throw it away. That's up to you. Like, totally. <laughs> What the? Um, Mina? Uh, I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, everything's. The fire is already starting, yes? Yes. Um. So you're, do look, you're I down one team member. You know you've just pissed yeah. off Mr. Kane. Uh, mm -hmm. You have gained one team member. The team member you lost. Um, Gecko has ran away. Um, you have a gun in your hand that you can throw away if you want. And there's a fire starting. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, you can keep the gun. Show it who's boss. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then I will look at Didi and say, should we bounce? No, like, there's a dude right next to you. Oh, okay. The and the, I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch him in the face before I leave. You, you, he's wearing a helmet. Yeah, he's wearing a helmet. Oh. You can use your the butt of the gun to punch him in the face. Oh, yeah. I'll use, that, I'll use, that I'll will use the butt of the gun. Yeah, that, that will definitely smash through the helmet's glass. <laughs> yeah. All right, absolutely. Um, Roll danger. Let's see how that goes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you did it. Hey, it's a nine. You're slowly increasing. Hey, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will resist or avoid their blows as I run away. You you run away? Yeah, af after I punch him in the face. Ah, okay. Yeah, you uh, punch him in the face and he's kind of like... Uh, and... It hits him so much, like, you see, like, bloody cuts in him and, like, etc. And he just passes out. Oh, great. Yep, he's passed out. I... Where's Chimera, by the way? Uh, Chimera is right, like, in front of you. He just landed oh. uh, very feline-like. Okay, let's, I, I'm gonna scream out, Didi, gotta run! And then I'll start running away. Um, where are you going? Somewhere out of the vicinity, 
of the fire. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, like, are you heading towards Mr. Kane? Or no. Okay. No. Okay, absolutely. You you're also like fleeing the scene? Yes, I'm fleeing the scene. Absolutely, totally, totally. You are fleeing the scene and okay. Um <laughs> uh, okay. Um Chimera, at this point you hear scuffle from inside and loud large light like, shouts from inside. You turn around and you see like people coming out from underground. That door that just came out of. They are all carrying, you know, um, uh, AK-47s. And, uh, yeah. They all spot you and they're coming after you. Get closer to aim. Like, they want to get out of the um, fire quickly. And some of them go to help the guy that's, like, on the floor. Didi and Chimera, what do you do? Well, just before they get out of the fire, I'm going to... Shift in the bird, grab DD, and fly off. Okay, um, that's an unleash. So let's do that unleash roll, and let's see what happens. Go unleash. Nice. Does DD want to help? <laughs> Get. I'm torn. Because <laughs> I, it, how bad is the fire? I don't want the entire favela to burn down. It's like it's a chemical fire. It's starting up, and oh, you don't, you can't really tell from your vantage point how bad it's gonna get right now. Unless you want to assess the situation. That's totally fine. You can assess the situation. Oh, that wouldn't go well. Um, <laughs> okay. Kamara, get out of here. I'll be right behind you guys. Okay, fly off without him. All right. Her. Ab absolutely. So you fly off without uh, Didi. Didi, what do you do? There is a dude right next to you who turns to you. And goes to headbutt you with the butt of his rifle. Yeah, Whack. That would hurt. But, uh, roll to take a powerful blow and we'll see whether that works or not. Well, it's not going to work, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Does it work? These, these rolls today are both great and horrible. <laughs> They're the best kind. Great and horrible, the best kind. Uh, I gotta think on this one. Mm -hmm. Ten plus. Yeah, and, the, and in these rules, I cannot lose control of my power <laughs> in a horrible no, way. No such thing of that. You you always have control of your powers in in this setting. Well, you, you might lose control in a narrative manner, but, like, otherwise you can, like, there's no mechanical lose control. So, basically, it's going to either be take myself out of the scene, mm -hmm. um, choose to, or take an injury, right? Hmm. What, what does the injury do, anyway? You take minus one ongoing until you receive medical attention. Like, um, uh, you should see the rules, right? I, I'm showing it to players. You might have that minimized. Yeah, I've, I've got several screens open. Okay. So I see it. Like, it's in the hand handout section. Just scroll down. There's basic moves. Take a powerful blow. Well, you can only read, like, take a powerful blow. <laughs> You know, it's going to be hilarious if I if I black out, then basically we traded Chimera for myself. Uh, it would be. It would be. <laughs> but that is entirely your character's choice. Like, that is entirely your choice because, like, I don't choose for you. So, you know. Well, let's take the injury. Okay. And because um, I still want to make sure this fire doesn't 
burnout of thing. Mm-hmm. Probably the easier thing to do. It, honestly, I think him clocking me in the head with with a gun butt probably isn't going to hurt too much. Mm-hmm. But what happens if he accidentally cranks around through my hand or something? Uh, hmm, that's a good, good question. Uh, so are you taking injury? Yeah, let's take an injury. All right, cool. So you move your head out of the way just in time, and the butt comes smashing into uh, one of, like, your shoulder. You get to choose which shoulder. And that shoulder um, dislocates. Unfortunately, it dislocates in a way that you, even though you're like a, you're a gymnast and you had dislocated shoulder before and you know how to slot it back in, it dislocates very badly and it hurts. Your, that arm will become uh, unusable until it's slotted back in and you're going to need a medical professional to slot that back in. You can't do it yourself. It's probably an old gymnastics injury I had that got aggravated. Yeah, sure, totally. You've had injuries. Like, you're a gymnast. You've fallen so many times on your face. You can't even count. All right. I hate your guts, but we have to put out that fire. Um, How bad is the fire? Can I, like, push one of the cars onto the fire to to cover it up to get rid of it or something. Okay, um, be- before we do that, I'm just going to ask you, uh, uh, are you ambidextrous or do you have handedness? Um, it, I'm going to be handed. Okay. I'll have handedness. Oh, oh, okay. I don't really care which hand you're choosing. I'm just asking, is your main hand shoulder getting dislocated or the off hand? That's all. Uh, why don't we... Yeah, let's just say offhand okay, so cool. I can still uh, Yeah, 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 no problem. <laughs> I, I don't really need to know what hand you're choosing because it doesn't matter. But, like, I just need to know if it's your main hand and offhand. And if you just said you were ambidextrous, I would have been totally on board with that. I wouldn't have said, hey, no, you can't do that. No, you can totally do that. Anyway, yeah, okay. So, sure, your offhand is now, it, it hurts. You probably say, ouch, or something. And then say that thing. Okay. So the fire is, it's uh, like now you have a better look at it. Um, like say before you tell that guy, we'll see what, uh, like how that guy responds. We'll see, like uh, describe the flame. So like the other guys are helping the injured people outside. Some of the uh, gun people are kind of like getting the, the fire extinguishers. Like uh, specifically the... Um, you see, like, two, like, lab assistant types, and they're getting the fire extinguishers to quickly, like, uh, you know, put, um, you know, a foam over the fire. Uh, yeah. And the uh, goons, the uh, higher thug goons people, yeah, they're all starting to get back up. The wheelbarrow guy is starting to get back up. The um, There's two guys who are completely knocked out, but the other two, the wheelbarrow and the other guy are getting up. And one guy is right in front of you who just clocked you in your shoulder. Okay, okay so, so can we kind of just bump him out of the way and then maybe... The only thing I can think of, and I'll, I'll do this quickly and then get the heck out oh, of here. sure, if you want to bump him out of the what way, what if I directly engage a threat and we'll see what happens. Well, I didn't know if it was more just kind of a just go away. You're not, you're bothering me, and not an actual attack, but oh, okay. So, um, so then it's probably like an unleash. It's like like you know, he's still no. I mean, I would say no. It's still a threat, and you're still engaging him. Like even if you're trying to throw him away, it will be directly engaging yeah. a threat. Well, in other words, my goal isn't him though. My ultimate goal is to no, no, yes, do something with this fire. Yes, yes, I agree. And actually, but so this, why don't I? This person is a threat to you unless you completely avoid him and just head towards the fire. Like you're going to have to go through. Him. Like, but you can All completely right. so avoid him. So let's do this. Him. Yeah. Let's, let's jump on, on him and use him to vault towards the fire. So, so we're gonna kick ourselves off of him. Okay, um, sure, unleash to your powers, man. That's totally great. And, and not, not 
horrendously non-awesome in any way, shape, or form. In that it is horrendously awesome. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Um. So. Uh, and that was with a minus one and a plus one. Minus one for being um, injured. Plus one for being angry. Uh. Why are you? Oh. 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 Uh, unleash your powers. Uh, right. Right. You are angry. Cool. 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 Totally. So yeah. If you mark a condition, you will do it. Otherwise, uh, unstable and temporary things will happen. Yeah, we're gonna check insecure because this this is not the way I planned this fight going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Like you're the only one left in the scene. Everyone has escaped. Just well, I try to take it with me. No, we not to. I know. I know. I just no. have to. I have to make sure that Favela isn't going to burn down. That would be bad for our reputation. It would be. It would be. Uh, okay. Um. All right. So, uh, you, you, like he goes for another swing, uh, seeing that you definitely like he's definitely hit. Like a weak point, he goes for another swing on that shoulder, but you instead jump on his shoulder using just one your arm and then vault off, just you know, just like cannonball inside the warehouse where the fire is, and just like land next to the two lab assistant guys who are getting like fire extinguishers, and one of them is telling the uh, one of the AK guys, get that other fire extinguisher. We need to put this out before it burns the whole building down. What do you do? Is there anything below here? Or, and I'm going to ask the guy, you know, if I smash a hole to help the chemicals drain into it, is there anything below here? It should help confine the chemicals from flowing. Oh boy! Ah! Uh, oh boy! Oh boy! 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 That is a that is a very interesting question. I am trying to see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. 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 So tell you what. Um. Why don't you roll either an assess or a pierce and. We will let the answers list. Like I can probably give you a custom question if you feel like it. But assess or appears? Are you angry? You're angry, okay? Oh yeah, I, but all all these are gonna so, suck. Are you uh, assess? What is assess? Uh, are you guilty? You're also guilty. Okay, okay. Well, at least one of them has only a negative three. The other one has negative. Oh, actually, both of them has negative three. Never mind. Both of them are negative three. Just, okay. Okay. Oh dear. That's uh you know, you mark potential. That's great. I'm so happy for you. You level up. Do, 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 do. Level up noise. I mean it probably they hesitate because they don't know what to answer. And then that, so I just smash a hole into the ground so the chemicals will drain into there. Not realizing that there's an entire complex that they were holding Chimera in underground. Yeah, I mean, you know, you thought he was just trapped in the... <laughs> uh, you were just trapped in there. Like, I mean, negative one is the lowest score because the lowest you can roll is two ones. And the lowest negative modified is negative three. So one one negative three is a negative one. And that is the absolute low you can go. The absolute how you can go is 14. So, you know. <laughs> uh, sorry, 16. Because 6-6 six, six plus 4 is uh, 16. So, minus 1 to 16. Anyway, um, enough math aside. You punch a hole into the floor and the chemical starts draining. And they're like, no, no, there's chemicals underneath. They start freaking out. And uh, you probably say whoops as you... Hear this gargling noise from underneath. I, like, I, like, I asked you. <laughs> and then you see the, like the hole you created, it's starting to corrode. And it's increasing. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, what are those things? Those things that's like, 
creates a hole that just keeps on growing. Oh, sinkhole. Sinkhole, sinkhole. exactly. Sinkhole. Yeah, yeah. It's like a sinkhole, and it's growing. It's growing. It is growing. What are you doing? Because they are backing the FOA outside of the fact. Uh, sorry, warehouse. What are you Time doing? to get the heck out of here while they're getting good. <laughs> what do you probably? Do you but I, I, I hate the. Ask, is there anyone that's unconscious that's in danger even no, if they're back? No, no. Um, they have taken the um, wounded, bullet wounded guy outside. Uh, and they they just throw the, like, they just throw the, um, the, um, uh, the fire extinguishers on the ground and start running for it. Run, run, it's turning into a sinkhole. Run, run, run. We have to go and get out of here. <laughs> let's, let's go outside the radius and maybe start. Trying to see if we can make a fire break increases, or something. Increases, you start backing away, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, starting to speed up. What do you do? It's gonna catch you. Well, I jump. <laughs> All right. You know what? Like you, you have powers, you jump out of the way. It increases so much that all the like the entire structural support of the um, warehouse gives away, and it just comes crashing down into the ground. Um, you know, looking at my watch, it's time to go. <laughs> so it there. is, um, yeah, you do hear sirens in the distance. Somebody must have called the fire department. Does it does it look like at least the fire's out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when the roof came down, the you know oxygen was cut off. The fire fire went out. Yeah. Like it sh like when the roof came down, there was just so much debris everywhere. It just like completely cut off supply, and you, you can't see any fire. It's probably inside. You don't know, but uh, you can't see anything. What do you do, Didi? What do you do? You know what? Now, did the bad the bad guys scatter too? Uh, the I bad guys right? scatter. I uh, yeah, they're like, what happened to the car? What the fuck is the car eating another car? What the hell? Run! Just don't worry about it. And some of them start riding the forklifts out of here. <laughs> like, would they put the injured dudes on the wheelbarrows and quickly cart them outside? You know what? I'm going to stay to report our side to the police, and the bad guys won't have a say in the matter, so we're only going to get the good side out. So you're going to wait until the uh, fire department shows up? Yeah, and also see if they need help, even though I'm a one-armed bandit right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, we will um, get back to you after a while, after we see what everyone else is doing. So we'll we'll get back to you. Okay. So, who escaped first? It was uh, Zinc. Zinc. Me. Oh, no, Zinc, Zinc, yeah. Zinc escaped first. Zinc, uh, you're kind of, like, confused at what just happened. Like, it's still, like, it, like you know, the fire signal hasn't gone out yet. Um, so, it's, like, a few minutes ago. Um, what do you do as you quickly, like, come out of the scene and just... You realize you escaped the scene, like involuntarily. What what do you do? Oh. And you're pretty sure you saw the scene of how Pedro Falcao, your old identity, died because you know Pedro died in a car crash, and you just saw and felt being in a bus. And then being tumbled and smashed into windows and seats and having your body cave in. What do you do? I don't know. Let's see. Got any ideas? Well, you just saw how you died. What would you yeah, do? Yeah, I know that. What would you do in real life if you saw how you died? <laughs> that is such a weird question. A puke on the sidewalk. 
<laughs> yeah, um, he can't puke because he doesn't have any food inside him. <laughs> I mean, he can puke if he has food inside him. He just doesn't eat. So, Brian right, Haven on the sidewalk. Yeah, do you drive him onto the sidewalk? <laughs> like it's up to you. It's, yeah. it's totally up to you. Yeah. yeah. Right, you start driving onto the sidewalk as. Now, now you realize that some people are kind of like walking because you realize you came to the edge of the uh, warehouse district. Uh, so it's like you're looking in, like you're next to the road of a residential area and people are walking around and they're kind of really oddly looking at this Robocop trying to vomit. Trying to vomit onto the sidewalk and literally nothing coming out because there's nothing inside. And after a while you realize, wait, what am I doing? I can't vomit. <laughs> so as you step back up, you get a uh, phone call. Again, it's, okay. in, it's inside your head. So you don't actually have a physical phone because it's inside your head. Okay, it is uh, from the UPP. Okay. Hi, how are you? Um, uh, we're getting reports of uh, some sort of uh, fire in the uh, in the warehouse district. You're in the area, right? Can you get over there and see what's going on? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, do you need any backup? Is, is there any development? No. Um, you know that you have like a standing order to inform them when you like find Chimera. So if you say no, you're going to have to reject one of your les lessons, which is you cannot never lie to anyone. Okay. Are you Yes, I do need help. Like are are you um like are, like you if you re successfully reject you can lie to them. That's totally fine. But like otherwise like you have to tell the truth. Okay. Yes, I do need help now. Can you send it as quick as you can? Um, so what kind of help do you need? Uh, what's the situation? Report. There's a fire going on. Yes, I know. That's where I'm telling you to go. I'm trying to think. Like they're looking at your current GPS coordinate. They are not like looking at your history right now because they don't constantly monitor that. It's just saved. That's all. Just like so, if they want to like, um, it's saved in like a database. So if they want to like see where you were at this time, they can look into the database. But he's looking at your current status, which is at the edge of the warehouse district, not at where you were. Okay. I don't know. That's hard to figure out. I really don't know. Okay, no, like, um, are you like reporting to them about that you have located, uh, Chimera? Yes. Okay. Uh, like, um. So yeah, just um, tell me as if you're like uh, ta talking to them. Just you know, this is a role play basically. So, like, uh, so he asks you, uh, Zinc, report. What's the situation? So what do you say? Well, we found where Camaro was, and somehow he was trapped in a warehouse, and he got out, and we tried to take down. Gecko and he ran away and got away. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you can't really say he got away. Uh. So because like you ran away. <laughs> so. Um. So let's say you say you he tried to take down Gecko and that's when he uh, stops you. Wait. 
wait, Gecko, Gecko, the Gecko, the the drugs, the drug designer, Gecko. Yeah. Yes. Are, are you saying that Gecko had Chimera trapped? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm sending I'm sending resources. Uh, can you give me the address of the warehouse? Uh, you, you know the address, by the way, because you know you know the address. Do you give him the address? Yes. yes. All right. Cool. So okay, he said, um, uh, meet our people at the warehouse. We are sending all available units. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um. So you're gonna are, are you going to meet them back at the warehouse? Yes. Cool. Awesome. I'm going back to the warehouse. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, next up was Mina. Mina. Yes. What are you I've, doing? I've, Where are you? You ran away. Yeah, I ran away, and I'm probably the one who called the fire department. Yeah, absolutely. That that totally makes sense. You're running away. You call the fire department. Absolutely, totally. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. And oh wait, I didn't see the this day, so nope. I will. Mira doesn't have a phone. No. No, I will call Zinc. I will ask him where we should meet up. Okay. Call Zinc. Roll play. Uh, yeah. The phone's ringing. Well, let's see. Hello. I say, uh, Zinc, where are you at? I mean, where are we gonna meet? Back at the, well, back at the warehouse, trying to help everyone, make sure everyone's away, away from the fire and try to put the fire out. What? Back at the? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going back. Okay, thank you. I'm running back. Drop the call and start running back. Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, are you on the rooftop, Mina, or are you on the street? I'm sticking in the rooftop. Okay. And okay. as soon as I get there, I would not show myself. Cool. I'm just going to stay on the rooftop. Absolutely. Looking. Absolutely. Because as you run, you hear the telltale sirens of the UPP, which is different from the sirens of the fire department. You know this because you can recognize sirens, unlike normal people, because you have that training. Of course, Black Mamba taught you to recognize cop sirens, because of course he would. So, yes, uh, you know the UPPs are sending in their squads as well. Okay. Um, good. So, uh, uh, we're just going to deal with uh, what Chimera went and we're just going to montage the rest of the episode. Alright, so Chimera, where did you fly off to? I flew to Giovashi, saw that he was covered by the gang yeah. and realized, yeah, like, realized, um, yes, realized that. You see, like, uh, he has a new sign now, so Gervasio's and... Um, uh, sorry, uh, Juanita and Gervasio's. Sorry, no, Gervasio and Juanita's. No, he, she would put it at the end. Yeah. So the sign. Realizing is, that's not a safe spot for me, I actually fly towards my mom's house. Okay, absolutely. Um, you know she is not at the house right now because she's at the melting pot working. Okay, then I'll go to the melting pot. Oh, you want to go meet her? I I was thinking you just want to sneak back into your house. Okay. Okay. No, I'm gonna meet her. Okay, absolutely. Uh, you fly towards the melting pot. Um, so, like, so okay, you get to the melting pot. You see that it is like, it's like say five thirty ish. Um, uh, a little like maybe fifteen minutes before six. Um, so it is rush hour because like. The work, like the morning, the day shift has just ended, so people are coming in. There's like a lot of crowd inside. You realize if you walk inside, um, 
everyone is going like you're going to draw the attention of literally everyone if you land. Uh, what do you do? Do okay, you I'll... do you wait until the crowd kind of clears, or your mother like takes uh like goes outside for some reason or, or other? Like wait for her to leave so you can catch her alone. Yeah, yeah I'll wait for her to take a cigarette break. Oh, your mother takes cigarettes. Okay, that that's good to know. That is detail, detail, add details now. Uh, did he? Uh, did she? Uh, uh, she had uh, like she used to smoke uh, before you disappeared, right? Right. right. Okay, cool. I will uh, add that into her character information because that is super important character information for some reason. Um, oh. Is she a chain smoker or just has like one or two like it's occasional smoker? Occasional, occasional just smoker. enough to calm her down. Okay, okay. Occasional smoking to calm nerves. Okay. Alright, cool. I misspelled occasional because I never remember that spelling. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh okay yeah okay so we're gonna i think this is a very good spot to end the episode so yeah we have the last scene of chimera like waiting on the roof like you land on the rooftop of the melting pot the melting pot is like a like uh it's not a two-story building it is one story but the upper story is there's like a it's like a you know like a tilted roof so like there's no water damage like there's no water standing so it just falls off the roof so there's no like actual roof it's like tilted so you land on that and kind of keep out of sight which you can do i'm totally gonna let you do that it's part of the montage um back at the uh warehouse we see um red fox on the uh um other warehouse roof nearby looking down at the uh, fire trucks arriving, then UPP arriving, and then zinc arriving, and you see like the fire truck giving um um Mina is getting like uh, put into like an ambulance so the paramedics can take a look at her. And wait, what? Sorry, not Mina. Um, Didi is being put into an ambulance so the paramedics can take a look at her. Okay. And, uh, yeah, okay, so that, that will be your, um, uh, medical thing. We will, like, just remind me next, well, just remind me, uh, next session that you, we need to clear your injury, so we will do that. And, um, yeah, and, uh, you, and we'll figure out what happens, like, what you, what Zinc tells the UPP about the story or anything. We'll figure out that on the next session because it's just a montage and the montage goes on. And it uh, ends. So cool. I will. Um, as the uh, credits start rolling, I just want to show you the um, uh, like I have like a setup end scene, and I need to tell you the end scene because yes. All right. So one of the end scenes is that as the credits are rolling, we see the raid at UPP Armory taking place, and we like and Mr. Kane is. There, nearby in a car kind of directing it out of sight and his people go in and like start shooting inside and start grabbing uh, guns and getting it out then suddenly there's like uh, UPP sirens and they're like shit they're coming no no we gotta get out of there get out of there and then suddenly no no boss they're not coming this way they're going towards the warehouse district why are they going that way doesn't matter doesn't matter this is our opportunity quick and Basically, because Zinc told them that there was this huge thing happening and, like, Mario just sent all available units, there was no unit to respond to the armory break-in. So, <laughs> that happened. I was... So, That's like, they, no, uh... normally, they would have needed your expertise, but by a stroke of miracle, they didn't need to because they didn't have to deal with anyone else, any newcomers. So that's great. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. Uh, the other thing, the other thing is that it's the next scene happens like after the credits are rolled. It's like a post credit scene is that it's uh, late at night. Um, it's uh, like a restaurant. You can't see the... The, the outside light of the restaurant turns off 
and as the camera backs away so and a hand swings the um open sign to closed and it said opened and again the cheeky subtitle guy shows that the subtitle also changes over to closed as if someone turning the subtitle he's he's very he likes those little text effects okay i'm sorry he likes it, it he's great people love it it's like the little details of this animation show that makes it so have famous with people anyway um so yeah, uh, so as the camera backs away, you can't actually see the name of the uh, restaurant yet, but like fans who grab screenshots of this and then raise the gamma or brightness of the screen, they can see the name. But normally, like you can't see the name because it's dark. And as the camera backs away, after a while, the, the restaurant explodes into flame. It's late at night. It's like 11 p.m. when this happens. The restaurant explodes into flames, and in the flame, you can see the name of the restaurant, which is Falcao Pizzeria. Uh -huh. End scene. Uh, that scared me. Yeah. It, it, it should. All right. Uh, so now we're going to do the end of session things. I have end of session written down right here. All right. So at the end of every session, choose one. Let's do uh, the two of you that you have that has to leave first. So, um, uh, Chimera, why don't you go first? Grow closer, closer to the team because they actually showed up to help me. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll give it, it to, uh, I think her name is Mina, Mina Alias's name. Uh, Red Fox. Uh, Mina, Mina Alias is Dee Dee. Ah, Dee Dee. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you the brain phrase. All right. <laughs> Didi actually lost influence over um, uh, Chimera, so Didi now gains it back. So, yep. yep. Great. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, you can uh, remove a condition or mark potential. I'm going to clear, clear a condition. Okay. You clear your angry. You have no more conditions. Okay. Um, next up is uh, Zinc. Well, let's see. So, um, it should be shown to all players. Yeah, I've got it. I'm going to say grow cl closer to the team because we got Kamara out of the, out of his well, out of the warehouse so he could get back. Absolutely. So, uh, who do you give influence to? Red Fox. Uh, wh wh why did they make you feel welcome? I couldn't. What'd, What'd you say? say? Uh, explain uh, how, like, Red Fox made you feel welcome. Because she was helping me yeah. take care of all yeah, the absolutely, all absolutely. the goons. Yes, yes. Like she, she did come to help you, right? I, I forgot that detail, right? Okay, absolutely. Uh, Red Fox, did you have? A... Yes, you do. So Red Fox, you get to shift Zinc's labels. Go for it. Uh, um... no, nothing is at an extreme. You can change whatever you want. I say. Right. And uh, you cut off there at both times, so you'll have to like explain. I'll, I'll up danger and down mundane. All right, absolutely. Now two things are at extremes. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, um, zinc doesn't have any conditions, so he only marks. Potential and congratulations, you level up! Woo! Hooray! Um, look at your um, take a look at your um uh, upgrades. Um, you've already taken one move from your playbook, so the other upgrades are still available. You can choose whatever. Just come at me during the week, and we'll talk about it. Let's PM me. Okay. All right. Um, so b before you two head off, because I just want to let you go. Um, is either. Mina or Didi going to give um, Chimera or Zinc influence? Oh. Um, Didi is, is actually probably going to say, oh, "It's close." Um, I'm, Didi is probably going to grow closer, closer to Zinc, which would give him influence. Okay, cool. I don't think uh, Zinc already has influence over Didi. I don't know. Yeah, does he? He does, right? 
I think he does. No. no. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think he does. does. Okay, okay, my, my bad. Okay, then you gain it. Absolutely, cool. Okay, so you gain it, and that's fine. And um, uh, Mina, are you giving influence to either Chimera or Zinc? I'd say Ky I will give influence to Chimera because. How did Chimera even make you feel welcome? Basically, welcomes uh, welcome us. <laughs> he he broke himself out. I I I mean, how does that make you feel welcome? Like I I I'm just curious. Like like. Uh, okay, okay, let me change that. <laughs> Uh, I'd say, well, I'd say Zinc because it's the first time I saw him quite like human like. Well, and also, she and Zinc were helping each other a lot. Yeah, yeah, that, that, is, that, that is true. That is true. You, you were. So, okay. So, uh, Zinc also, I don't, yeah, yeah, Zinc didn't have influence over uh, Red Fox, so he gains it as well. So, that's cool. All right. Uh, so okay, so um, uh, Phantom and Josh, uh, before you go, just uh, tell me your uh, roses and thorns and uh, thorns and roses, and um, you can head out. So, jokes. Well, I didn't really have any thorns, okay. but the roses was Mina taking on all those people at once with their mind powers. <laughs> she actually didn't, but sure. I took one out. Yeah, you took one out. Yeah. And then you kind of. And, the, and my flexibility with being able to being able to be flexible about my animal mimicry. Ah, okay. Instead of having to rely on just one. Yeah, like, stuck in one yeah, you you have you have multiple powers. Like it's it's totally like it's totally you you and you don't even like you don't even beast boy mode up permanently shift into an animal. You just gain the attributes like by physically changing form, like only parts of your form. So like when you become an elephant, your nose probably go grows a little bit, something like that. All right. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, zinc, uh, thorns, and roses. I didn't have any thorns, okay. but roses is that is that we got Camara out of where he was. Nice. And everyone as the other thing was throwing Dee Dee down at the people at Gecko and. <laughs> I, the, the fastball special was amazing. I I have to say, fastball special was amazing. I just got so confused. I don't know how to do this. I need to figure out how to do the fastball special. I'm sure there's like a, a custom move given in the masks rule book. I just need to find it. I think I've seen it before. I just need to find it. So, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you both for joining us. Um, uh, yeah, um, shush. You can totally head out, and uh, we will just deal with everyone else's things. Yeah. Yep. yep. Bye. Good night. A day. Night. Night. Time of night. Life. Day. Bye. Bye. Yes. Afternoon. All right. Yep. Cool. So, um, moving on to uh, 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 Didi. Uh, you gave uh, influence. Uh, you grew closer to that. Um, so. Are you uh, giving? Uh, are you clearing a condition or marking potential? Yeah, yeah let's clear insecure. Mm -hmm. I still feel guilty that I didn't really put out the fire. I kind of made things a little worse. I mean, you technically probably could be justifiably said to have done so. Maybe. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, possibly. Potentially, plausibly. Okay. Uh, Mina? I nudged it. Uh, are you yeah, clearing uh, condition or marking potential? Uh, I mean, you mm. you only have three conditions. It's only three. Like, come on. It's only three. Is it three? It's only three. I, I, 
we'll deal, deal about, about that the next, next session, session, I guess. So are you? I will. Yeah, yeah I will mark potential. potential. Oh my god! Let's be greedy. Oh my god! All right, you just won away from your third advancement. Wow, you are leveling up like mad. Mad, I say, mad. Annie, for my advancement, I took Moment of Truth, and I'll keep that on deck till I need it. Yes. Moment of Truth is on the board, guys. I mean, oh my gosh, that is That's... yup. That, that is a yup. All right, that is a yup. Like, I was ma aiming for that too. The, the moment, like the time when moment of truth becomes available for one character, you know things are get, getting heated up, and it's just so <laughs> great. Okay, um, uh, thorns and roses for you too, please. Uh, Alice, thorns, please. Is is a thorn, and this is this is no one's fault. As a thorn, um, I'm sad that. Uh, Nabo wasn't able to make it, yep, yep, and yep, 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 I, yep. I hope everything goes okay with that. Um, you know, I, I hope her um, her family. Um, I, I hope her family the best under the circumstances. And so sorry, sorry for all that. Um, for roses, um, I guess a couple things. I got to go toe to toe with Gecko, uh, which made Didi happy, even though he got away. Yep. Again, I can't help but wonder the, the scene of him wandering around the apartment cussing out Dee Dee, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. We we sprang Camara, um, and he kind of sprang himself. Finally, <laughs> true, true, but we got to meet back up with him before he isn't able to make it this next session. Yeah, yeah. Um, totally. And and I think the other upside is we started a relationship with the UPP by sticking around to tell them our side of the story, which I think is going to be big as we try to be heroes. Ah, okay. That that that's actually a very important point um, because it does, like, because you stayed at the end of the scene because you didn't stay at the end of the Laku Karacha fight. People kind of didn't know what to make of you. Other than vigilantes, but now that you're—I mean, you are vigilantes. Let's be honest. But just because you're staying back at this like thing, and like Zinc is technically like on an on loan member of the UPP, like like we're gonna have some interesting things to that. So I'm I'm actually very excited to see that. Uh, sticking around the scene. All right, that's actually sure. That's one of my roses as well. Um, uh, Janine. Your thorns and roses, please. I, my my only thorn would be I have three on Mr. Kane, and I don't, didn't get anything from him. But isn't that a I'm good gonna thing? Deal about, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna deal about that next session. Okay, we we'll, need a phone call. Okay, uh, all right. just a phone call. All right, absolutely. Um, what is your roses? Uh, yes, roses will be, you know. I think I think I said that I was taking a video of DD getting thrown by Zinc. Um, a a visual of oh a video. Yes, you have a video. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's one of my roses, and uh, yes, I think it is. It is. Chimera's new powers is nice. Hmm. It's, it's it's like it's an extension. It's a natural extension of his original yeah. power set, and I just think that's very good. Like you know, su yeah, it's very, super very speed, good. super armor, but it's a natural extension. So, like, like previously he could jump upstairs at like multiple, like fast and multiple steps, but now he's like super speed. So it just leaps from one half floor to the next half floor, which is bows AF. Yeah, he bows. Bows. Absolutely bows. It's because he has the Didi blood, I say. I can neither confirm nor deny anything. And I think one of my roses is Mina still trying to, you know, learn how to fight or engage in 
because usually she would just hide in the shadows and we need people who hide in the shadows like this was a scene where um the uh the tanks of the group like uh dd zinc and um chimera really shines because this was a fight scene this was like your default fight scene and you know how how you know how rare yeah. those are in my games. You know that. So, <laughs> for all you know, you're probably not going to get another fight for like ten more sessions. Like, <laughs> yeah. I like how Mina's trying, trying to you know, scope it. How did, how the fighting? Did is a fish tank. Did did is a fish tank basically. <laughs> <laughs> He's figuring out what the hell is uh, am I doing yep. in the background. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Alright, okay. Um, uh, my thorns. I'm sad our fifth player couldn't make it because Evelyn has some family um, is- uh, issues to deal with. Not going to details for a YouTube video. But I'm also sad that Evelyn didn't make it and I hope everything works out alright. Do not explain it further. My... My, like, I have so many roses. Okay, first of all, like, the rescue itself was awesome. Fastball special, like, so mind-blowing, I legit did not know what to do because he, I was too stumped by the awesome mental image. I was also mm-hmm. too stumped by the car throwing. I mean, what? What? Okay, the Hulk's car throw was amazing, okay? Just one car, like, lodged into via the windscreen of another that is a terrifyingly powerful scene and in my head it was so fantastically rendered and and i'm just wow okay another scene is that we finally get to like show to the viewers like pedro's death scene and i think that's a big factor and i hope that uh, josh will be able to like use that in the future with some you know, ideas from us and help from us along the way. Um, another scene is the ending scene that I added. Um, uh, oh, um, um, that I actually did not know if, like, without Mina's presence, the cane raid on the UPP armory would go well or not. But because Marie, uh, Detective uh, Mario D'Souza sent all available units to respond to this um, Gecko's appearance with Chimera, uh, that meant that their raid was a success. So that was a result of the roleplay. And I just love that Kane's raid succeeded. Um, Because I did not plan for that. It could have gone either way. Uh, uh, What else? Um, mm, The fact that GD, despite injured badly still goes in tries to help doesn't actually succeed but maybe succeeds but still decides to stand around for help to arrive to clear the air and that's like yes dd staying behind is amazing and i'm just gushing over everything aren't i yes i am but that's the kind of gm i am i gush over my players being awesome doing awesome role playing <sighs> Yes, all Mina's evidence are fine. Like that, y- your, you're y- y- yes, you pr- Mina probably has a Vine account. We we all know this. She, she probably has a Vine account. She Instagrams. There we go. She Just uploads not, videos on Instagram. I don't know. Oh gosh. I don't know. Any, anyway, I don't think she would know that. Yeah, I, that I mean, it's, it's your character. You, you can do whatever you want. Um, ah, uh, ah. Uh, what else? Oh, right. The end scene. The Falcao Pizzeria explosion scene. Because that's not the only thing that's happened. But that is one of the notable things that's happened. And I assure you, there are like severe implications of that scene. Because I don't show end scenes unless they have severe implications. And you both know this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like my end scenes always I think that have that significant has implications. Something to do with uh, you'll see. I can't. I mean, a nagging feeling. It's a. Just, you, you'll see. You'll see. And 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm just so excited and um we'll hopefully have Evelyn back next week. Uh, we won't have Phantom back next week, but that's actually okay because Kimura mm. has gone to meet his mother who thinks he's dead. There are yeah. definitely going to be a repercussion there and he's probably like we're gonna figure out who we'll figure that out. There's definitely a love letter involved. He's in there. probably grounded. <laughs> you know, yep. he's probably grounded. It, he's probably is. Um, I have to actually uh, figure out a um love letter for um uh, uh Nevoa Maria, and because I actually had a lot of plans for Maria today, but uh, unfortunately, nope. So sadness. All right, so love letter for. Um, Maria, and, uh, I forgot the name, Chimera, there we go, love letter for Maria and Chimera, and, yeah, I will, yeah, um, anything you want to say before we end the session? Muffin Gwari. Muffin Gwari. Yeah, I have Gotta agree. Muffin Gwari. Muffin Gwari. Have I shown the picture of Muffin Gwari onto the video? No, I have not. Well, now I need to. Because because now I need to. I, I, I made that uh, dumb image and now I need to show it to the world on, on video. That, dang it! Im, Im, One Im, last thing. Imgur, please. Im, Imgur. Shut up. Dang it! No, no. This is paper bag man bear. Oh, oh okay. There's Muffin Gwari. Okay. So I, I will I will open this in a window and then turn back to Hey, this is Muffin Gwari, okay, okay. I it's a Muffin Gwari, which is like a version of the Yeti in Brazil around the Amazon rainforest, and it's a muffin. I made this. I'm I want, I'm very happy. Thank you. I'm uh, I want Shia LaBeouf riding on it. Must you break my mind with Insanely awesome images. M must you do this, Janine? Must you? Must 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 you must must you must you implant these horrifically silly ideas in my brain that I must somehow edit with my poor editing skills? Did, why, why do you do this? To yes. Me? Why do you do this to me? Also, I want for holding a taco. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna thank you for tuning in, YouTube people, who is mostly me, because I will be watching this later. Hello, future me, when you're watching this to uh, write the session summary, because I don't do it otherwise. Um, hi, future me. Past me thinks you're a jerk. Bye now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>